Hello everyone, welcome to Hedja's Quest. I'm Mecha, and we're playing a roguelike Fire Emblem today? I don't know what to expect, all I looked at is the concepts, and I tried to see if it works. And that's it, that's all I know, so this is as new for me as it probably is for you. If you want to play along or play by yourself, I put the link in the description. Uh, it's a link to feuniverse.us. You can find it there, uh, with all the notes by DH. So we're gonna see how this is. I am not a super well-versed person in the rogue, roguelike, or roguelite genre at all. Uh, but I did watch a, a video on the legacy of roguelikes a while back, so I have some minor knowledge, but not an expert at all. I just like the game Hades. <laughs> hey, yes. Ah, I see. Well, so yeah, that's that's this whole little research I did. Let's find out what happens here, shall we? So like I said, I checked if it works. That's what my save file is from. Let's just get into it. There are multiple modes, I think. I think first we have to create a character. Um, as always with these streams where I'm playing blindly, please no backseating unless I ask for it. And if I ask for it, I'll be very clear about it. So if I didn't ask, don't give me any tips, please. Okay, here's me asking for a fun name though, because we're not going to go with Heya. Huh? Heya? Heya like the Outcast song? Don't get hit. Simple. That that would that would help. I will try that. Mecha is a good name. <laughs> Mechia. <laughs> I don't know how to spell that exactly. Exactly as you pronounce it. Crumpton. Any any particular reason for Crumpton? Also, let me know if the volume is all right. I feel like this is a little loud right now. Zagreus. Now there's a name. I named one of my Pokemon already. Like Zagreus. Ebuzz. There's a reason? No. Okay. E-Buzz. <laughs> Estelle. Huh. Curious. So I, I think I make myself female. I'm not sure. Vague? I don't know if Vague would live here. Skullman? I think the volume should be a little lower again. It's quite loud for me. I think it changed volume. I have no d, &D tonight. What up, Soen? Bobbert? Smugbone? I mean, we are we are a skeleton for some reason. I feel like we shouldn't name Zagreus after a skeleton. We could be Skelly, though. How about that? Hold up. What if we end ourselves Skelly? Because we're a skeleton. And it's a roguelike. Does that make sense? I know it's not a not, not chat mod, it, but... I feel like Skelly is just a cool name. Alright, boyo. We're Skelly. We can. I think we can change again, though. Playing on easy mode, you can't die. What do you mean? I'm not even playing on any mode. Class type. Oh, we can be male or female. Alright. Cool. We're, we're male for now. Kelly for short. <laughs> Kelly Skelly. Class. All right, we can pick a class. We have Cavalier, Axe Knight, Mercenary, Myrmidon, Archer, previous page, and next page. Do you guys want to be next page? Wyvern Rider, Mage, Shaman, Fighter, Pirate. Next page. Monk, Pegasus Knight, Soldier, Renovant, Bonewalker. That's it. That's, that's all the pages. We have three pages. I don't know what to pick, guys. Any, any, any suggestions? Anything you want? Dawn is my favorite class. I do love Dawn. Thief was not there, I don't believe, no. We have Soldier, Renovan, and Bonewalker, though, which are enemy-only classes, I guess. Fighter? Bonewalker? Wyvern Rider? Just be Fighter? You gotta pick Wyvern Rider? Pick Renovan? Archer? Archer sounds, uh, interesting. Mill Pegasus Knight? I know, right? It can be a Mill Pegasus Knight. That does sound very progressive. I don't remember what I even did for my brief test run. How about we'll be Pegasus Knight? We'll be Pegasus Knight. I don't think there's a whole lot of advantages to flying in this yet, but we'll see. So that's our class. Uh, class, yep. Class type is male, female. Class info. Ah, okay, so these are our base stats. I mean, I guess they're just... the Peg they're, They look like normal Pegasus Knight stats to me. Except that they look awfully low, I guess, in most of the areas. But we do have high move, so maybe that'll help us. Is Pegasus also a skeleton? I don't know, we'll find out. Let's begin. Renovant is the zombie class. I guess I'll just save here. Off the beaten path. Yeah, I think they're still Skelly. We'll find out, I guess. I'm sure that name will come up every now and then. I like how the tactician thing seems to be used in FE8 all of a sudden. Okay, so I didn't read any of the story. And there, yeah, there's the story. Just forgot to mention that. Nice world map. Interesting. Oh, Skelly. My dear, sweet Skelly. I am sorry to call upon you. I know that you wish to rest, but you are my only hope. Seek the labyrinth, defeat the darkness, and rescue your dear old grandma. 
I will await your arrival, Skelly. Gonna rescue Demeter. Now rise! Oh, right, it's a, he's gonna get resurrected, isn't he? Skelly, come back. Oh no, the trees are dead. Yeah, just like me. Just, just like me for real. Yo, what up? They revived the skeleton. Alright, this should be our... Uh, our guidance person. You may move freely while in this area. Okay, so normally you're finally on a grid, right? But here, he's moved with the D-pad. Isn't that cool? I mean, I can't fly over these trees. What's the, what's the point of being flying if I can't fly over trees? But damn, I can just fly around. I can't hold B to go fast or anything, so this is definitely not a game with running. But how cool is this? Yeah, it's like gating hours. I can fly over the water. Whee! It's pretty massive. This is so cool. This is completely pointless right now, but it's so cool. Remember when, um, I think Circles Everywhere posted like a hack where you were like flying around in 3D? Yeah, rum hackers are broken right now. Okay, let's see if we can like, do we have to talk to this guy? I'm guessing we have to. Hey dude, who's this? Doesn't seem to be much here after all. This place was picked clean, picked clean eons ago. Not even the buzzards are biting. The lab. Did someone say... <laughs> By the goddess, what foul manner of sin are you, undead? Labyrinth. Labyrinth? What do you mean? Labyrinth. Is that where you're from, or where you've got to go? Six, some sort of game that only the dead know? How about this? I want you to think real hard about this one. Really collect yourself. What is your name? Skelly. Skelly. <laughs> Your name is Skelly. Quite the odd name, but it does seem to suit you. Okay, bye. Is he gonna say bye? Doesn't seem to be aggressive. Yet. I should be able to slip away if... Skelly, was it? There's a place nearby that sounds just like the place you're looking for. Lab. Yeah, yeah, labyrinth. I can bring you there if you want me to. <laughs> Skulls in chat. I'll take that look in your eye, um... Well, eye holes is a yes. Let's go. We best away before the sun sets. It smells to all above like the stench of death and decay. Who knows what other manner of beast roam these hallowed grounds. Alright, come on. Get after him. We gotta go. We gotta run. Where are we going? Oh, this is uh, quite a map. <sighs> Nearly got a breath. The pile of bones never expected me to hightail it out of here. <laughs> I'm as Pegasus Knight, what do you think you're doing? Probably not a single thought in that skull other than Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Heh. <laughs> huh. Heh. <laughs> huh. Am I seeing things? Hold up. I thought I lost this monstrosity. I'm a Pegasus Knight, you can't outrun me, you foot unit. Green foot unit at that. Labyrinth. Ah. And, uh, I mean Skelly. Skelly, hello. Yes, I'm so glad you managed to catch up to me. I thought I'd lost you there for a second. Oh, how worried I was. But now that you're here, we can... Labyrinth. Yes, well, it does appear to be... Well, good luck in there, Skelly. I've got to, uh, procure some delectables. Surely you understand. Ah, uh, yes, the lack of stomach. Ah, <laughs> how could I deny you when you make those puppy dog eyes? Fine, I'll come with you. Yo, the FP7 recruitment theme? Or the FP8 recruitment theme? But if we happen to run into any unsavory types in there, don't expect me to help. You can afford the luxury of a death wish. I've still got plenty of good years left ahead of me. Thank you. Ooh, he does talk. Ooh. They ate each other. I am the shepherd that collects the broken pieces of what's left. And now I must guide the convoy of the damned to glory. God is watch over me. Hope your Pegasus is also skeletal. I hope so too. Does that make me weak to like more things than just arrows? Maybe maybe fire magic will work too. Labby. Rinth. Leba? How do you say labby? Like just, just the lab e part in English. Because the whole word is like labyrinth. Like labo rinth, right? Okay, so I was recommended to play normal mode, not hard mode on my first playthrough. We have some options. Auto send to convoy on. Okay, sure. Um, what else do we have? Fixed growths on, sure. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Normal mode. I don't know, maybe hard mode is more fun, we'll find out. Chapter 1, Endure. 
I have many options. I can undeploy Skelly. That's cool. And uh, my other unit is Charon, the Navigator. A mysterious advisor with a strange aura. First appearance. Oh, right. The MOBA emblem portrait guy. I vaguely remember that on like, I think it was shown on Market Joe's channel once. This is like a tome, but it doesn't seem to be able to do anything. It can't be equipped. So he's just an unfighting NPC, I think. And we got Skelly here, Pegasus Knight level 1 with the stats they were shown earlier. And skills, fortune. This unit cannot be crit. And Kanto can move again after certain actions. And um, we'll find out which, I guess. And what are we on here? This is, well, this is the Labyrinth. We're here. And man is over there. I can't do a whole lot. Do I have a weapon? I forgot. I have a weapon? I don't have a weapon. Okay. Let's find out what we have to do. They didn't really tell me yet. I was expecting that the game would tell me at this point what to do. Okay. Chapter 1. Enemy level 1. Note starting shop. What's going on here? Oh, so right. So we control Charon and not Skelly. Alright, let's just go to the shop and see what happens. Interact. Welcome to the armory. You can find stuff here. You have a thousand gold to buy shit. Bunch of shit. I guess I'll buy an Iron Lance. I don't know if I have to con for any of this. I'll just buy an Iron Lance and a Slim Lance. And that's kind of all I have gold for. I guess I can buy a Javelin or a Vulnery. Let's buy a Vulnery. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so now what? Oh, that opens up. Okay. Interesting. I'm pretty sure this is our, like, overworld, like, the labyrinth, and then these are individual battles, like the first rogue game. Uh, you can move anywhere, you can probably, yeah, interact means probably fight these guys. A journeyman and a bone walker. Oh, this guy has no weapons. This guy doesn't either. I'm assuming that the journeyman is bad news because he has an axe, so let's try it. I don't actually know if Bible Trial is in this. Let's just interact with this uh, bone walker here. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. And now we're here. Pronounce it like Sharon. Well, I'm pronouncing it like Hades, Charon. So what level with the main guy? Uh, I don't know. Doesn't seem to have any levels. Anyway, now we're here. I'm assuming this is the actual battle. Okay, so he has an iron sword, so we can we can take this guy. Let's see if we have weapon triangle, right? Let's uh, just put ourselves in range. Actually, we can maybe avoid getting attacked if we do this. Let's go here. Let's see what he does. Okay, he just walks up to us. That's. I'm assuming Karen just has a phase because NPC phase is here. But oh, that's not great. The missions are on, right? Okay, let's just do that. This is very strange. Okay, so if I attack him, it works out. Okay, let's go. I hit you. You hit me, probably. Sharon. <laughs> Otherwise, I just throw. It still hurts. Oh, the dodge saved me some HP. I don't know if I get healed between battles. Yeah, the damage numbers, that's been that's been around for a while, but it's pretty cool, for sure. I think they'll show with, anima with animations off, too. Let's try that, shall we? How does this work, even? Yeah, so you can see it on the overworld, too. It's nice. Got him. Oh, we get gold? Okay. Now what? Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, okay. Alright. We got through the path, and we're kind of low. But not dead, and there's an archer and a pegasus. What happens if I just like end my turn in range of these guys? So they can't do anything. They don't they don't even move. They have nothing. They have no weapons. Okay. So I guess we'll just go here. So it's not as flashy as Hades, but it sure is like the game Rogue on whatever it was. Oh, that's the ship map. It's a boat map, guys. Kaka did it first. So what is this? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I'm just here to show you what it is. So just Austin Lance, okay. Can I double or something? Oh, we have like the same stats. Well, come hit me, I guess. I don't know how much health I have. I should probably, I can probably heal in the next battle anyway. It's fine. Let's take the hit for now. Let's take five. Can we do this? This really is gaining hours. I want to get back to that place where I can move freely. That was kind of funny. Hello, Xander. This is nuts. Okay, didn't I buy more than just one thing? Don't I have multiple things? Didn't I buy like a, a Slim Lance as well? Okay, let's see if we die here, if we miss. Okay, I didn't die. Good. 50% chance to die. It's less, um, actually, because two are in. Although that also means he's more likely to hit me. Supply? Yeah, but where's my supply at then? 
Yeah, I guess I have to send them, but I don't know where my supply is. Because I can't pull anything out of supply. I don't think I have supply on Skelly. Oh, there it is, supply. Okay, so what if I just pulled out with Charon right now? He has the he has the Iron Lands, but he has an Iron Lands too. I guess I just came with Iron Lands or something. He's gonna use the supply. Okay, I can't. Okay, good. I didn't see that. Overworld guy can do it too, but I'm I don't think I have to, I'm supposed to pull out with an overworld guy. Anyway, this is a church. I'm guessing that's good. Okay, so we need to get 10 HP back for free. We can pray for plus one max HP, but it costs gold. Or we can learn plus one magic. Oh, I can't undo this, so I can't check what my gold supply is. I guess it's rest for free for now. Okay. Can't go back, ever. Magic build, magic pegasus, right? Why are you trapped in here? You suck, bro. Why are you trapped in here? How much, how much gold do I have? I have 550 gold, so I could have afforded something else, but I wanted to heal myself. Another church for free. I can do something cool now. Uh, why don't we get some HP? I don't know, man. HP seems like a pretty bad stat in Fire Emblem, but what do I know? All right, what just happened there? Chapter two. Oh, level enemy two. And note one is a chest. Oh, right. That's the first thing I can do. Okay. I'm assuming this is just free stuff. Oh, that is some free stuff, all right. So did I get my HP yet? Okay, I did get my max HP. I didn't get current HP. Interesting. Now again, we can fight a fighter. I have a feeling that fighters are bad news. So let's interact with this Wyvern, and I'm sure it's going to be a better matchup. Seems to be a slow pacing hack. I don't know if it is. We'll see, I guess. If it's not fun, we'll play something else next time. But uh, so far, it's, it's interesting. It's a novel concept. Okay, so the Wyvern just completely trashes us. <laughs> I wonder if this HP I got is permanent, because I'm about to permanently die. What's our best odds at cheesing our way through this? I think just dodging on any phase and dodging like five more times. It's GG time. So now this is where we... Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Come on. This is where we find out if this is a roguelite or a roguelike. Am I right? Rig that crit. Even then. With Rough Vulnerary. I don't think I should spend my time healing here and against this matchup. Even now, I can't even escape the range anymore. We're, we're doomed. We're done for. Let's see what happens when we die. Goodbye, Skelly. It was a good time. I'm sorry, Grandmother. My duty. That's awfully coherent for someone who's just saying Labyrinth over and over. You died. You made it to chapter 2, plus 250 gold. Okay. Get rewarded for going far. Durr, durr. Is Karen totally fucked now? <laughs> Is he fucked? <laughs> Rip Bozo. Grandma, is Scully actually referenced to Chrono Cross? If it is, I'll never know. Yep, now we're back in the hub, which is here. Oh, this, so this is where we are, okay. And, I mean, I can undo... I, oh, I can't undeploy, I just... This is it, okay. So now, I know there's also other Fire Emblem characters in this game, by the way. Okay, so now I can move freely again. With this amazing music. Oh. But not that freely. I apparently have limited move. Interesting. Now what? Dude, talk to me. By the goddess, what foul manner of... Just a jest, Skelly. I'm happy to see you come to. For a moment, I thought my process was reset. <laughs> yep, free move. You sure put up a fight out there. I didn't know you possessed that sort of power. I can only imagine the sort of warrior you were. You were when you were well alive. I'm pretty sure that first war is supposed to be without an H. More to the point. By the way, there is a new patch coming out for this. I want to say next week or so. Uh, I was too impatient to wait for it, but... There should be some, if you encounter some bugs, there will be updates that hopefully fix them. Uh, but you can report bugs in the thread that's linked in the description if you find any more. More to the point. Once your body stopped moving, I narrowly evaded enemy capture to gather up your bones and get us both out of there. It was no simple task, and I'm sure that with my hands full, I wasn't able to grab anything else. Worse than that, the brutes ransacked the convoy. So any gold, items, or weapons you found in the labyrinth are unfortunately gone. That sucks. If you're looking to go back into the labyrinth, you can talk to me and I'll guide you there. Okay, so what what can I do then? Well, let me see if I can do anything else here. 
I'm guessing this hub is gonna get more stuff. But for now, I just want to show off the free move some more. Dude, this place is big. I can't show the map with, like, start, unfortunately, but damn. Flatware's can <laughs> Flatware Pegasus Knight, at least, for this. Pegasus Knights do seem kind of trash, yes. What's the point of dying giving you gold then? I, I have a feeling we keep that gold, because we got it after we died. But, uh, I can't be sure. Gotta find villagers to rebuild those houses? Maybe. We should build at least three houses. Labyrinth. Oh, build facilities. Hold up. Return to your hometown from a desolate wasteland to a wasteland of commerce. <laughs> Each facility has a beneficial property that will aid you in your fight through the labyrinth. Oh, let's go. Tavern. Okay, this is too expensive, I think, right now. I don't know how much gold we have. I'm pretty sure we can't afford this. Tap. Recruit new heroes and review the different passwords that are associated with your heroes. I mean, I would like to. Let me just... Let's get the let's get the Merlin Ascent first. Trade gold earned in Labyrinth for vouchers that are retained between runs. Vouchers vouchers can be traded back for their full value, but they cannot be sold. Would you like to construct the tents? I'm still not entirely sure how it works, but I'm sure it will come to me as we play through. Yeah, it's my castle. I know, right? Yeah, free is a steal. Vouchies, ooh. Okay, can I do anything with it now? Wait, is that the Fates theme? Kind of? Wait, did the tent go here or not? I thought I saw the tent come up here. Was it not? I can't check the map as a whole, unfortunately, so I don't know. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Go just past him. Did I miss it? Beneath me? Where tent? Oh, there's tent. I didn't see it because I thought it was a rock. Might be. Turn gold into vouchers. Turn vouchers into gold. Auto voucher. Okay, so how would that work? Okay, we like all my gold for vouchers. I don't know, do we do it? I still don't get what this is for exactly. Alright, let's just do it. Find the vouchers with my inventory. Okay, cool. Can I just do it back now? Okay, I can. Turn vouchers into gold. Ah, oh, okay. But Okay, can I just get this much gold? No, okay. Oh I Okay, alright. We'll have to figure this out as we go. I don't think I have the gold to buy anything else. Let me just try the tavern. I, let me just convert it back into gold to see if we have enough for a tavern. I'm pretty sure we don't. But just to, you know, stress test the, the hack, right? Okay, so let's do this. Did you get 2,000 gold? I thought I got like 250. Unfortunately, I can't check my gold. Build facilities. Let's say we try to buy, di buy this. Don't have enough gold. Okay, we'll, just, we'll probably just have to go back into the labyrinth. The chests. That's true, but that part got wrecked, I think. That part we lost, he said. So I guess uh, that wyvern really was a tease. You take the gold with you if there aren't vouchers and lose it if you die. Mm-hmm. So I guess we want everything in vouchers now so we don't lose it, which we're inevitably gonna do because we're a shitty Pegasus Knight. Yes. Interesting. Pick a picture of your book and made up to seven enemies 60% stronger. I think it's possible to complete it if provided that Zephyr doesn't die. Yep. That's the FE7 problem. Okay, let's just go into Labyrinth again. Labyrinth. Okay, this is something I'm not going to understand right away, but I'm sure it'll, uh, it'll come to us if we keep playing. <laughs> Wordless paper. <laughs> yeah, they're dumb brigands. Alright, so there's still nothing to do here. Do we... We can, like, take our stuff, right, with us? Well, we don't have any stuff, that's the problem. So I'm guessing we just want to convert into vouchers as often as possible. Okay, floating the map. We want to fight the wire from what the alternative was. You know... The frickin'... What's it called? The archer. Pretty sure that's not gonna work. Okay, so now we're starting with 10... With a thousand gold again for some reason. But do I have. Okay, I don't know if I was supposed to do anything there. I think I was. I think Skelly comes with an Iron Lance anyway. Normally, right? Yeah, now he has an Iron Lance, so I don't have to buy that shit. I can buy a Vuln, I guess. What happens is this? Oh, I just. I don't get to buy anything anymore. There's a supply over here. Interesting. The Antitoxin worries me. I know, right? So there's an, a Knight here. But you can see their stats. So you can kind of see if you can beat him or not. 
But you have Executor as your YouTube profile pic? I don't know, it's just an old artwork that I got at one point, and now it's so iconic I can't get rid of it without people... Well, people probably wouldn't care. But I care, because I like consistency. Alright, so we can probably beat a soldier, right? Right? Soldier got buffed up. I don't know about that. We don't... Oh, we don't double. Okay. Are we just dead then? Did, did I have to buy a vulnery? I screwed. Bro, they didn't tell me I needed a vuln. Why are you so strong? I should have probably checked the stats a little bit better, but I guess that's what a rogue... That's what the original roguelike game did too, right? They wreck you if you have poor stats. We can run forever. Look, the ruins is gonna heal me. Just watch. It'll be fine. He's not gonna chase me or anything. Hold up. No, 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 no. I know the ruins will heal me. Trust me. I have, I've played this game many times, actually. I lied. All right, soldier, look. The ruins will heal me. The ruins are blessed. You have five move, right? One, two, three, four, five. I'm not in denial. You're in denial. Okay, I'm gonna go through the ruins now. This is an avoid tile. This will help me. I get healed right now. Watch. Any moment now. Any moment now. Hmm. Yeah, we might just die. Let's crit this guy. 2%, easy. No worries. Any moment now. Any moment now. I lost to a soldier, guys. I might have lost to a soldier. I have a feeling Pegasus Knight is not the best class, class to be in. What if we go Armor Knight? I mean, I'm assuming we can't just change class. Maybe Pegasus Knight bad. Maybe you're right. I'm about to disown Skelly. Armor does sound really strong. You probably get doubled by a whole lot of shit. You got zero gold for that. Yeah, I didn't beat any runes. He lost to a soldier. Please hand in your Fire Emblem license. I kind of want to go with a different class, because the Pegasus Knight doesn't seem to have a lot of benefits. I think, I think we'll reset. We can just skip the story. It'll be, it'll be a quick reset. Erase my data, game. Let's be a better class. I'm feeling like Pegasus, not Pegasus. Um, we could be Wyvern or Armor Knight or what's another fun class to be? Uh, Wyvern Rider. What was the other thing I was had in mind? Fighter could also be funny. You need anything with a sword? Maybe. All right, so Skelly clearly didn't work out. We need a new character. We need a better character than Skelly. What's stronger than Skelly, guys? Yeah, I don't know if Wyvern has a high basis, though. Mechia? <laughs> Skelly 2. <laughs> There's an awful lot of Skelly 2 in this, jap in this uh, chat right now. Smelly. Skeletor. Skelly on a dragon. Boner. Belly. Alright, I like the theme. Belly. I don't know why I like that one so much, but we're now we're we went from Skelly to Belly. Which kinda makes me want to go Armor Knight. And let's do a female Armor Knight this time. Let's be let's be Amelia, let's be Wendy. Uh where's Armor Knight? Is it Axe Knight or can we not be an Armor Knight? Pretty sure it was there somewhere. Is it just Axe Knight? That is okay, that is an Armor Knight. Alright. We're we're a big Axe guy now. Axe Knight, let's get it. Interesting that it's just called Axe Knight. Okay. Female Axe Knight, definitely Wendy. Look at that defense. We're bulkier than the soldier. We can next time we find that soldier, he is so dead. He is so dead. Alright. It's Belly the Big Axe Knight. The Chris Gambit, exactly. We're playing FE12 up in here. Alright, let's move across this amazing world map, shall we? Zero speed. We don't need speed. We just tank. <laughs> belly, oh my sweet belly. I will await your arrival, Belly. Now there's mage enemies. Them's the breaks. Just dodge Lamau. But I wonder if we can beat the Wyvern with this class. Belly the Beast. Right, unfortunately, we do have to go through this. Alright, let's see how fast the Armorite walks. Ah, yes, beautiful. Ah, yes, I'm feeling it. This is the run. This is the run. This is the run. This is the urn. Okay, I gotta go through the story again. For sake of my LTC roots. My LTC roots brought me to a low turn count run where I stayed alive for very few turns. Okay. 
So now we know that we might need Vulnerace, so let's just get a Vuln. We don't need the weapons, apparently. We'll just get this Vuln. I don't need a Pure Water, because I'm going to die to any half-competent person. This is this seems nice to have. Actually, I'll take that with me. Any, all my gold is probably going to go away anyway. Let's, let's roll with this for now. We'll see how far we get as an Armor Knight. I bought one Vulnerary. Get four? Maybe I should get more. Uh, wait. Armories. Is this random now? The heck? Okay. Interact. Oh, huh. <laughs> I can buy more stuff now. <laughs> oh, I can buy a Rotten Claw. How nice. Let's get another Vuln then. Chat one another Vuln. We'll have another Vuln. I don't need Pure Water. So if I fight Mages, I'm dead anyway, right? Ah, yes. I can, su I can supply for, for sure. Definitely turn one. Okay, what are we up against here? That... Game. I mean, I could. I should probably check the map before I move, right? <laughs> I should probably check the map before I move. He's gonna do zero damage. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Because he only has nine attack. And I, Belly the Beast, have nine defense. So, logically, I win this exchange. Let's get the vulnerabilities out. I, apparently I can bring this. I don't know what it does, but apparently I can bring it. Here we go. Should we go further left? Wait, what, really? Oh, we'll find out, won't we? Look at us. We're so strong. Yeah, we can stand in a bush. We can take zero damage from this from this goofball. We probably want to do that because otherwise he'll just take it from us. Our hit rate is too awful, so yeah, go ahead. Just give the, yeah, just give defense. This guy is, is toast. All right, Axe Knight Belly has got this. Zero damage in a rogue, like it's like pressing dash to dodge. We'll be here for a while, guys. Bush Gaming. Never thought I'd see the day someone says that, but I guess it's been long enough since Bush's presidency that we can say that. No, 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 no. I'm not fighting mages. It's just I just dodged the mages. I use pure waters. I'm just too skilled. I'll just check the map beforehand next time. Tabbing and dabbing, exactly. We can also just get other characters, apparently, so that will help as well. I've never heard of a roguelike game. Well, actually, no, I've seen roguelike game where you get other characters. I'm just used to playing Hades. Okay. All right, we did it. I don't get pretty degenerate XP stress. I love it. I love it. That's such a good idea. Farming axe rank? I know, right? <gasps> can we get the revenge on, on the wyvern? I guess not. Okay, apparently the wyvern was here. Oh, well. Uh, so we can either fight Amelia... Or we can fight a, a zombie. Well, and then after that, it's up to a cavalier with... It's a question mark. Let's go. Fight Amelia. Kill Amelia. I will. Finally. I'm you, but better. Recruit. Seven attack. 200 gold. That is just basically just giving me 200 gold right there. Go get her. No animation needed. She's dead. I'm sorry, I skipped animations, guys. We'll fight the next Amelia with animations on. In my belly you go. Nom 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 nom. Damn, this is a, this is a broken character. Still can't see your weapon, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, we can also just go here. We can go to church. You guys want to fight a calf? Do you guys want to go to church? Are you religious? Baby game, I know, right? That should be a general later. Board Amelia. <laughs> Pray for bonus HP. Church. Fight. I can't touch the belly. XP is better than healing. Cav. I think the church gives me heals. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the love of mem months of being member. Thick molder. Amelia will remember that. Praise. Pray for res. Oh, pray for res. I think it costs gold, but we lose our gold anyway, so fuck it. Let's go pray for pray for res. I like it. I mean, I said that it wouldn't... Hmm, hmm. Oh, plus one magic. That's that's cringe. Can't get red. Um, maybe just get the max HP. Fuck it. Give me that. Max HP. So, is it... This is it? This is it? Yeah, this is it. Okay. Chat for two. Why does it say node one chest? I don't get it. Anyway, let's, let's do this first. This is just gold, right? Or actually, it depends on what it is. Oh, nice gold. Churches are only good for wasting money? What are you talking about? Okay, let's extra look at the map right here, because we can probably take this Merc with some luck. But what else we got? So we can fight a pirate, or go to church if we go through this armory. 
And this one gives us a chest, and then more chests. Ah! ah! And we can fight a soldier on the right hand, or brigands. Oh, there's a shaman here. We don't want to avoid that. But we never have to go to the shaman. So either it's merc into treasure or church into treasure into armory. So that's really free. Or we can go armory and then pirate or church and then soldier into armory. I kind of like the chest route personally, but it means we have to fight on a merc. Now what did the chest say, Mecca? It said 1250 gold. Ah, 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 see, Mulder, I'm, Mulder, I'm glad you like the, the painful scream. Most people hate it. Actually, no, most people hate the... Alright, we can take this Merc, right? Merc is here to avenge his brother Merc. I, I'm already scared. 10 attack? 10 attack. But we, we have 9 defense, so we just have to beat him to the forest, really. Come get me, dude. I'm not afraid you're too damaged. I have a vulnerary. Yep, it's gonna be more bush gaming, because if I miss too often without the bush, I'm gonna be screwed. Alright, let's get a good level up. Let's get some defense going. Can I check my growth in this? Dun, dun. If remove weapon can gain XP, I yeah, I could do that. Uh, although, I'd have to supply my weapon, right? I can do that though, I guess. Uh, let me check my growth if I can. Okay, they're just 50 all around. Okay. Alright, we'll just stand still in a bush. The hatchet. I guess. That would give me more hit, I suppose. I just like fixed growth. That's true. Which means we'll probably get a good level up if it works like most fixed growths, where, you know, 50% is good. It is free XP. It's also free boredom. It robs me of real-life revenue. Um, what is wait. Yep, 50, 50, 50, 50. Alright. The level up, though. Defense? Oh! <laughs> Why do you get magic? It's fixed growth, but it doesn't seem to be fixed growth. Maybe it's different depending on the stat? I don't know how this works. Anyway, I got defense. This guy's got nothing on me. We're gonna merc this guy to death. One day. There we go. Nice. It's a sign. Okay, so we beat our Merc, and our reward is, I think, just two free chests, and then we're on to the next level. Huh? We just... Did you just NPC phase the Vulnery? Did I have one or two Vulns? Chat. Did I have two? Did he just use it on his face? <laughs> he just used my Vuln. <laughs> I hope he doesn't use one again. I can totally see that happening, though. Ah, Skelly, you funny person. Watch him do it again. <laughs> belly wanted some phones in his belly. Don't! That's my phone! No! Not sure if bug or intended. I know, right? Well, oh, fuck. Guess I'll supply my phones next time I'm going into NPC phase. It sure is action economy, but damn. That's kind of rude. What skills belly have? I thought it was just, uh, he had Kanto as a Pegasus Knight. I guess I forgot to check earlier as a thing. This is, oh, it can't be crit, I think. Yeah, you have fortune for some reason. I don't know why, but I appreciate not getting crit. Oh, I guess we do have to fight this guy now. I thought we'd have a choice here, but I guess we don't. Well, here we go. Why does Karen have limited move? Rose thirsty. Did you just start? It's been, uh... Like half an hour. Okay, as long as you don't have a hammer, we're good, right? No hammer. 13 attack is uh, more than I'm used to, but uh, it's okay. So can I use this? No, I don't think I can. What's that Grimoire for? Okay, lesson learned. Remove the bone. Is fortune random? Can you get other skills? I've only seen fortune so far. Oh damn, you doubled me? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go bush gaming. It's bush gaming time. I don't think I have any Vulns left. Yeah, we're good. So I can't use the Grimoire, I'm pretty sure. What I can do is take out the uh, Hatchet, I guess. Skill scroll. Huh. Hold on, let me try this. Ran one random skill based on progression. Learn. Learn thing. Guys, I looked up thing. I learned thing. 
Bush camping might sound better, yes. Oh, it's his personal skill, gotcha. Fortune is his personal skill. Today I learned. Alright, we're going in further. Thing good. Node 1 house. Mini bosses may now appear on nodes 8 to 12. I love mini bosses. Okay, so Skelly, you now have Thing, right? What is Thing? Luna? Pragmatic. When foe is not at full HP, attack plus 3 and defense plus res plus 1. Ah, so like a Leo like skill? Huh. Interesting. Let's get the house. Get item, train, or recruit. I mean, chat, I know what you want, right? It's this one, right? Do I have the gold? Do I got the gold for this? I do have to go gold for this, right? Free item. Recruit sucks unless you need a meat shield. Does it? But it's cool. It'll be funny. One man army, Amelia. Get bush. <laughs> recruit. Let's try recruit. Oh! Is it like an. Uh, I wonder if it's like a. Is it called an uncontrollable or not? Let's see. Is this a generic calf? It's just a generic calf, bro. <laughs> it's 40 con. He's a big boy. He's got Kanto. He's uh, slightly worse than our Pegasus Knight. Okay, so what does our route look like? We need to fight this revenant and then go for another house or armory. And then there's a mini boss. <laughs> Here's Gonzalez. Uh-oh. He looks kind of tough. I don't know if we can beat Gonzalez yet. He's kind of strong. You might want to dodge Gonzalez. I'm assuming I can dodge Gonzalez by going for this chest or this armory. But I'm not sure. How do these nodes work? Because I, th I feel like earlier I wasn't able to make a choice where I thought I would be able to make a choice. But I'm not sure anymore. To be the boss, you can use them next round. But really? Oh, that's great. But please don't tell me stuff like that next time, because I want to find it out for myself. Don't tell me stuff unless I ask for it, please. Only remove one mountain at a time. Okay, that's something I did want to know. Yes, thank you for answering. So, so if I go here, this mountain goes away. And then these two as well, I guess, because I gotta go through. There are mountains that block Charon. Yes, I understand that there's mountains, but they go away. Hello, Markles. How's it going? Tracia palette? Oh, I guess it is, yes. That's very cool. Sideways mountains just don't go away. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just find out, I guess. My, right now, I'm assuming that if there's no mountain... So, like, this mountain is not going away. Okay, I guess that's the one that I need to keep in mind. Okay. So, like, this one will go away, this one will go away, this one will go away, this one will go away. Like, all those will go away, right? Just not this one. Hmm... Okay. Uh... Yeah, just, just don't say anything unless I ask, please. Just... Even if I can't find it out on my own, let me struggle a little bit, it's fine. Anyway. Anyway, our route... I think we have to avoid Gonzalez, I think he's too strong. So I think what we should do is try to make sure we don't have to fight him, but I think no matter where we go, we don't have to fight him. So... Thief? Honestly, I'm greedy for the chest, I'm greedy for the chest, I'm gonna go for the chest. Give me... I mean, I don't need to rest, because I'm, like, near max HP, so let's just get a... Let's just get the prey for one more max HP, I guess. We don't need the, the current HP, is what I'm saying. Okay, so all that goes away. Yes, I will listen to Mr. Easter Band. Never gone wrong. Uh, and then we'll go for that chest. We'll just greed for all the chests. I love chests. Damn, what a good, what a good chest. Totally worth. Give both units max HP? Oh, the Cav too? Let's go Cav. And then we just sneak through here. It's quite easy when you... Oh, actually, I'm forced to fight mages now. Hold up. Okay, so... Oh, actually, I doomed myself into a mage fight. Fuck. Was there a way to avoid the mages? I guess if I went here. Yeah, I guess we have to, we have to mage fight now. I guess we can chest first and then die to a mage. That's all I can think of. Well, how much, how much speed does this guy have? Can I avoid one fight? No, they both have four speed. Oh, I should have checked. Yeah, I, that's a bad habit. Yeah, if I fought the thief, I could have gone for this chest and then gone for the church. Did not. Yeah, I guess I have to hatch it, so maybe we'll be able to survive somehow. Don't have high hopes, though. But I get gold, right? I think I got gold. 
Yeah, so the sidewinds mods never go away, but everything else does. Okay, alright. Oh, I have meat shield, that's true. I have the calves. Okay. Alright, we got this. Reinforcements. Oh. Cavalier, what? I mean, can I just pick this? No. I just have this. Okay, let's get him in here. Oh, he's, he's an NPC. He's just... Okay. Well, thank God I have him. At least he doesn't, like, die. Can I visit this? No. Alright, mage guy. He only has seven attack, so he doesn't one-round me. Comes awfully close, though. So, and does he double me? I think he does, because he has no... Four weights. Okay, so there's four speed and I have zero, right? Yeah, I don't have a speed level up for some reason. So we'll just go here, equip our hatchet, and we don't have any Vaughns left somehow. I wonder who ate all the Vaughns. Oh, you're in a forest now. That's cool. This calf is great. I am so glad we spent a thousand gold to get this cavalier out here. <laughs> they shouldn't have bought a reinforcement that was faster than me. Okay, so let's see how we do here. Okay, so we have a chance, that's all I'm saying. We have a chance. There's a shot. Is there a way we can get ourselves in a forest where he is not in one? I think if we go like all the way here, it depends on like where he goes, I think. I kind of want a forest for extra chance of survival. Okay, that's perfect, that's perfect. No, 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 doable, doable. Easily doable. All we have to do is make sure he can't hit us, and then we go in a forest, and then we win. The village? The village doesn't give me... No, the village, I can't stand on them. They're introversible. Villages are peaks. I think this is still far away. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yeah, okay. Get this forest, Iron Man. I love the belly character too. He's he. I don't know if he has a belly to eat phones with, but it sure looked like he did. Wait, can we just kill him with an Iron Axe hit? Oh, we can. Is that better? Because the Iron Axe doesn't even kill him. Maybe Cav is Chad after all. Do we just go? I think we just go for it here. That seems way better. Like, why stand on the forest first? Just to give him the forest next turn. Like, we're gonna die in a way if you miss. Let's bonk him. Let's go. Don't miss, I swear to god. Thank you. Very cool. Alright. We made it through. We beat mages. So we can beat anything. Maybe not Gonzo with a hammer, but we can beat anything. Defense. Res. Speed. Everything. We could ever want. Two hondo gold. Speed. We really need Vaughns, though. Dun dun! Speed Demon! Alright, okay. Chat, let's not fuck up the plan this time, alright? So let's go here first. Get our 2,000 gold. Our reward for beating that tough-ass mage fight. Let's actually not fuck up the map plan this time. I could swear, like... If there's not gonna be an interesting battle, we might as well make sure that our route is working, right? So we can fight... And get revenge on the Wyvern Rider, which I kind of want to prioritize, because fuck that Wyvern. Ooh, a mini-boss. Who this? Gilliam! Ho-ho! I mean, we have weapon trying over this guy, right? I think we could take Gilliam. We have two Armor Knights? Two Armor Knights. We kind of need healing before that, though. Okay, so let's say we go for Gilliam for now. That'd be House, Chest, Gilliam, Armory. That's alright, we can fight another Amelia for free. Gilliam sucks, get him, I know, right? Did you change growth to fixed after reset? I don't know, I thought I always... I think fixed was on by default. What's Gilliam's skill? That's a good question. Gilliam's skill is... Provoke! Oh, ho ho! I guess it's working on me then. Two wyverns? I mean, wyverns are just chumps, right? They only have six speed, which still doubles me. I wonder... I can check out Chunk the Iron, this is right. That like, calf is dead, right? He's just gone. Yeah, he's, he's, he fucking died. I think Iron Lance is like 6 might, 7 might. So he's 14, 13. He doesn't do that much damage to me. I could beat the Wyvern if needed, I think. 8 strength, they hurt. Well, yeah, but I'm an Armor Knight. Armor Knight. I'll, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. It's either that or we fight Gilliam, who has 10 strength. Uh, but doesn't double us. There is another Wyvern, yes. That's true, we have to fight too. What I'm worried about is just not having enough HP for it all. Because I'm so low. We could go to church first, but then we have to go through this like route, which is kind of free. I kind of just want to fight Gilliam because it's cool. Right route is safer for sure. Because we can just get 
um, church, house, and then armory, and then house again or something. It's basically like a free floor. Gilliam if church. Mm, can I though? Cause you mean first church? Because then I end up on this right side route. And I can't get through the Gilliam anymore, right? Actually, oh, I see it now. Yeah, we have to go house Gilliam. Maybe that is safer than going here. Well, actually, it gets me HP back, I guess. Do I need the 5 HP to beat Gilliam? Is it worth passing up a chest for? I definitely want to fight Gilliam. Okay, let's go church. Let's go church, heal up, and find out. This one and done. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it's more fun. We keep going. House is item. Well, yeah, but this is house is also item. I do have a lot of gold. Well, let's let's heal for free. So he doesn't do it himself. I feel like the phase progression could be a lot faster and smoother. Maybe that's just my brain. Okay, then we kind of, if we want to go for Gillian, we have to go here. Um, oh, we can recruit an NPC again, but we just did that. I think getting one attack could be good. Or a free item. But these are lost when you die, right? So this is really worth. I guess it's just fun to get a random item. Could be a hammer. Oh, how, how glorious. I love lightning. I should have done attack. And it can be anything. Somehow I don't think it can be uh, the Garm. <laughs> Mage Knight. A lightning tome. So we can be a wimp and pass up on Gilliam by going somewhere else, but fuck it. We're doing Gilliam. We're fighting him. Why can he interact with the supply? That's kind of weird. Wait, if I take an item out of supply with him, does it get preserved for like afterwards? Let's try that out with the lightning actually. I wonder if he'll keep it. I don't think he will. But it's not like I need it right now anyway, so... What up, Gilliam? What's the purpose of this? I mean... It's having fun. Wait, why do you have a friend? Nobody told me you have a friend! Get out of here, Mr. S Iron Sword! Oh, Steel Lance, hello? Ouch. We're gonna get hurt. We need the bush. We need the president right now. Do we equip the hatchet to counter Gilliam and his javelin? I have a feeling that if I use a normal weapon, then he might use a javelin against me and do like less damage. Bronze! Ah, this guy's stats are way too good to be friends. I'm gonna try going in with the Iron Lance. Or, hmm. We could also go up here to like spread out their combat a little bit. I don't have a healing item on me because he ate them all. I want the bush. Can I use the bush in two turns? Because I think that's my only saving grace here. I think we want the bush. Pragmatic. That's right. We... Oh, right, we have that. Is that gonna help me here? Close enough full HP. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wins as a bonus? It does. Also, I guess I can go on it, but it doesn't have defense. I want defense really badly. Like, plus, plus one defense is so massive. I'm gonna go for the bush. I'm gonna go for the bush. I don't care what chat says. I'm gonna go for the bush. I'm gonna use a one-range weapon so that he met Javelin me instead. Yes, one damage. I'm I'm very fearful right now. So now that if I hit him, yes. So now I think he does zero to me. Now I think he does zero to me because I have pragmatic, right? And Gilliam, yes, goes for a range attack like a total coward. That animation is so amazing. Holy shit, I love it. Okay, now we go in the bush and then we'll put him on lower HP and he will be will be pragmatic too. Go Franz, yes. Best girls here. I hope we get girlfriends too. And I hope we get girlfriends. Okay, so now we hit him, and he's going to hit us for two after battle, I think. We'll still need to dodge a fair bit, I want to say, because we only have so much HP to work with. Also, Gilliam is going to like keep hitting us like this. And I think if we have equipped the hatchet, then he'll start steel lancing us, and it will suck. But the bush is just the bush. It's okay. Gilliam can never hit us infinitely. Let's just get rid of this stupid cavalier. For now, maybe we get a level up here? No, we're not, we're not working there. We'll... I think now we have to stay in the bush and use a hand axe. Well, I wonder if it's better to alternate. Would it be better to alternate, like go out of the bush, hit him now with the iron axe, and then he'll switch? No, he could be using javelin, right? I think it's better if he uses javelin like every turn for two damage than it is if he switches to steel lance for like two more damage. We use a hatchet now, because if I use a hatchet, I mean this wins me in four turns, guaranteed, right? 
Maybe, maybe this is the best. Maybe you just do this. We stay in the bush, we throw this at him. He throws this back at us. Then he's like, okay, well you counter me no matter what. I'm gonna use the steel lance for like two more damage. But then I hit him back with the iron with the iron. The accuracy is better on steel, I guess. But now we get to do like our own iron. Well actually now I have to use my own iron while he has the steel lance. That's pretty bad. Oh well. I think we still win though. Oh, there's a- is there a 99 cap? That's so annoying. Okay, yeah, I think we... We can, we can get the 99 miss. The hatchet is very accurate, though. I think this is a guaranteed win, whatever. Let's go for this. We'll just win this battle, and hopefully we get the heal next time. What's the story this hack? We're... doing the labyrinth because grandma. That's the story. Hoggies! I don't know if this is, like, fixed growth at all. It looks kind of random, but maybe I just don't understand the fixed growth mode. Ugh. Go get him. Oh, clean crit. That's got to be the boss patch hack. What an excellent defense. We shall meet again. Yeah, I'm going to be doubling soon with Belly. He's Belly bopping. 1,000 gold. I want to spend this gold on like shit I can keep. Is the Myrna's tent on here somewhere? What was that thing he said again about, like, exchanging gold for vouchers? Can I do that, like, here? In this world hub? No, right? Oh, Gilliam is, like, here now. Interesting. Resident does have base? Okay, but... There was something about how I can... How vouchers don't get stolen, right? Which means there's some kind of... Interaction between me and the tent here. Anyway, let's try this. Like, I said, I could just buy shit here. Ooh! <laughs> Hey, I don't think we keep these though. We keep this. Wait, why is it? Oh, right, because this guy can't use any weapons, of course. Steel seems kind of good. Can I go back in? No. Okay, cool. Dude, just let me buy shit. Just let me check characters at least. I don't know if I have to rank for Iron Axe <laughs> or Steel Axe. I just didn't get anything now. Also, there's a U in here. That's kind of worrying because uh, Belly Boppin is still at 11 HP. I need a phone, bro. You can change the money you get after dying into vouchers. I see. I have E-Rank. Let's check that, right? So we actually know next time. E-Rank. Okay, almost a D. Almost a D. Oh, Steel was E-Rank anyway. Yeah, true. Fuck. Anyway. Uh, we don't care about anything here because we might not survive this battle. So let's just check how this battle goes, I guess. Let me see. This lightning that I ate with him is still here. Let me just do this again. You're supposed to just dump up what you get after death. But how? Anyway, mage guy, 16 HP, zero defense. Uh, Iron Axe, how strong are you? Oh, we're one short of one shotting. That's cringe. Do you double me? No. So you can probably take the hit, hand axe him back, and then kill him. But we can also bush. But I think we have to we have to go for a bunk somewhere. I wonder if my odds get better if I go for a bush or if I just you know bait him first. Only seven damage. I have one res, right? Yeah, he has six. It's okay, so we can theoretically live. Why don't you buy the steel axe? Why? I was I wanted to check if I could use it, and then I went out, and it was like, no, nope, you're done. That's that's the only attempt at chopping. If you don't dump your money. You have it at start of next round. Uh, okay. Bunk from the bush in the bottom left. Hmm. No, right? Because if I go here, then he goes here. I guess I can bonk him then. There's probably a wait area. Hello, the pay the PA deluxe. How's it going? Let's see how this goes here. Maybe we can bonk now, but we don't want to kill him. So think about what we have to hatch it first. And by hatch it first, I mean we let him hit us and then we hit hit him back. Like this. Alright, Skelly. I mean belly. Ooh, let's go. Pogger dodge. It's probably not gonna help us a whole lot. I think we can try to save some HP by attacking him first. We just take the risk. I think the hatchet is more accurate than the Iron Axe anyway. The big red house at the top give you something? Not these. I think we hatch it, like right now, for the accuracy and save some HP for ne next battles. Because it's actual next battles. Your HP carries over. It's so cool. Epic level up. All I need. D rank axes. Now there will be no hesitation when I can buy axes. 
this vanilla F8 hatches or is it worse? It looks like it looks different. Let's put it that way. Let me check my gold right now. I have set almost 8k. So this is random item, right? Or recruits, which is Garbo. This is an enemy that I don't know if I can beat him. He has seven strength. Okay, well, let's check the path because we did survive the Yuan encounter. Uh, so either we get something cool. I kind of wanted the armory because I need to buy more weapons or more options. But I also really need health. The chest will probably not get me health. Probably gets me more gold. And this gets me to a house. Is there any weapon? There's some brigand fights here and a free church. Random item, recruit or strength. Strength is nice. But we need we need to prioritize health somehow. But nothing here gets us health. We just don't want to go here. Oh, we can... Ooh, Lina is here. There's no way I can beat her right now. But that's good to note that Lina is here. This cap... We know we can beat calves fairly comfortably. Hmm... So if we want to get the church for healing, we have to go through the this path, I think. This will also avoid the main... Oh, we can also get this church. If we do that. But that leads us to the pirate battle. Which is okay. The pirate will bring it, really. So the question is, I guess, like, do we want the, the church? Well, either way, we get it after one battle. It's just one of these lets me go through an army and then a church. The other one lets me go to church and then a pirate. I feel like the best path is house... Cav, um, armory for the gold spending, and then the church. That's what I feel right now. That's not Lena, that's Tormod. What do you mean? Oh wait, she has stuff here. Which is Pragmatic and Celerity. Oh no. She's got the move. Well, right now she has zero move, so we'll be fine, right? Interesting. Is she even available? There's always a sideways one. I feel like it goes away when you go here. Probably? I don't know. Anyway. I think item, or whatever, or strength. I think I'm going to go for strength, I think. Uh, this item is tempting, because it's random, but let's get attack. Or change. Maybe we can one-shot some mages later, I don't know. Can we just not go there? I'm, I wonder. Let, let's see what it says right now. We can definitely go for this first mage. Let's go for the calf fight. Hopefully this is not an armor slayer calf or whatever. Alright, let's go belly. Oh, he's, he's totally got... This place is unlock. Iron Sword, Iron Lance. Okay, you're probably gonna use the sword, right? It's about the same might. Uh, what you got? You have the Overworld? No, we don't have the Overworld uh, UI. That's unfortunate. So now I have to keep checking my defense. But I think I, I think I basically tank him if I'm in a bush. I don't know where to go for bush though, because I think he can block me either way, no matter where I go. But let's try this. I have an idea. Let's go here. I don't need the bush to be honest. Let's just check the forecast and see where we're going to go. Because we can we can retreat towards the bush to like reduce damage by one. If we really want to. I feel like I, I think it's worth because he's doing damage right now. Although, if I hit him with Pragmatic, then he stops doing damage to me. So maybe just going for the hatchet is better. Uh, the hatchet is like not low on use or anything. Because if I go here, then I have to take a hit no matter what. But this gives me just two chances to hit him before... I... Yeah, this I think this makes sense. Fortunate? Yeah. But I unfortunately didn't bonk him. So hopefully on enemy face I can bonk him. And then he stops doing damage to me. Armor Knight meta is interesting for sure. Yeah, there we go. So now we should be good. I mean, he still does damage now. But I think it's it's calculated at the start of combat. So if I'd gone like backwards there towards the bush. Then we would have taken this damage for sure. And from there in the bush it would have been fine no matter what. But yeah, now we just win. Good big iron, exactly. You can choose your class, yeah, you can be anything you want. You can be a Pegasus Knight and die, you can be a soldier and die, you can be an armor knight and live, it's great. I think class balance is one thing I saw a comment about that was like, some classes just don't let you win. I don't know which those are, but just be warned, not every class might be good. I feel like movement is not a very good stat, but then again, a movement might have let me get in the forest somewhere. Pragmatic is such a nice skill to have in these 1v1s, it's so cool. The thief does seem kind of bad, unless it has some kind of advantage. Alright, so... Do we go... We went armory... Okay, so Lina did not open up here, at least. That's good to know. So we get the church no matter what. We can get a church and then go fight, or we can go... The armory. I think we want to get the armory. I want to get some more weapons. Alright, this time I will buy something no matter what. I know... What the heck is all this stuff, bro? Interesting. 
This is D rank, which we can use. We have D rank. Oh, I want this so bad, but I don't have C. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 damn, bro. Gilded Claw. Okay, so I think... I don't know if these are good. Shadow Cleaver, I mean, I can't use that, though. Oh, Fiend Cleaver's E rank? Hold up. That's pretty cool. I, don't, I haven't fought any monsters yet, but it seems kind of good. I mean, we have so much money. I wonder if anything, anything from C is worth. Because I don't have C anywhere near, but I might be able to go longer because my build is kind of nice. I'm going to buy one of each. And a Sword Slayer for fun. Bolting would be crazy, yes. Unfortunately, no Lina. I don't think it's worth buying swords or anything. Yeah, I'm just going to get everything. I don't think the Sword Reaver is worth it if we have a Sword Slayer. We'll save some gold for future things. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if Lina was ever available on this map. That's kind of weird. But I really want this Evolnary. How do we get the last one? Do we just get... A, we got a, like a, a vendor, right? I want to say. Okay, so do we just get healing now? I want to say we do because the HP doesn't... Yeah, we need some HP. Because HP doesn't get healed between maps, right? Which she's open now? Oh, she is. Oh. I don't have the HP to take on Lina. Yeah, it plays like a roguelike. If we die, we start at the beginning. Phrasing, Alexander. Phrasing. Let's not fight Lina. No, 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 no. We'll get Lina some other time. Let's heal. Zzz. See, Scully, this is when we heal. I know what that animation was. That's probably something that needs to be fixed. Alright, node one church. Oh, my, we got a free church anyway. Well, we can pray, I guess. Alright. Oh, there's an arena here. Interesting. Did, was that always there? Did I just notice this? This is so cool. I love this concept. It works out so well so far. Okay, what else we got here? Knights, journeyman, shaman, journeyman, a mage, a thief. I have a feeling this guy is not going to be very strong. How many maps do you need to beat this game? I have no idea. So I'm sure, sure someone in chat can tell you. I mean, we're supposed to get Gram out of the Labyrinth or something? Hammer time? Oh, true, we can hammer the knights. Okay, so what do we want right now? We have a bunch of weapons in our convoy that we can use. We can pray for plus one magic or whatever it is. All right, the villages give you strength and the churches give you magic, duh. Okay, so villages are probably better than overall most of the time. We don't need the healing from the church, but we're getting it for anyway. We can get max HP, I guess. And then... We don't have that much money, so shopping is not that great. So we can go to another church and get uh, another max HP. Then fight the Myrmidon with our... I don't know, we just get some action. He's probably not able to kill us, because we don't want to fight the Shaman. Or we can go to the Armory, but then we have to go church and then hammer time. I guess that's not bad. Then we get the village, which is kind of nice. Whereas here, we're kind of forced to end in a mage, I think. No, we're not, because I'm assuming if I beat this journeyman, I can still go here, right? Can I? Yeah, we want weapon rank. I guess getting XP is just good too. So maybe we just go for the armory path for that. Hmm. Okay, so yeah. Okay, let's go to church. And get max HP. This is so interesting. I remember recruit. Can I recruit? Wait, how? I thought I could only do that for mini bosses. And like, oh, wait, hold up. You mean the village? Yeah, recruit is like okay, I guess, but I feel like getting strength is way, way cooler. Hey, yeah, let's the kill us. The main rule is just don't be a dick and uh, don't, don't backseat. My Discord server is in my uh, description. Where's Ross? Oh, fight the Ross. Wait, is that an actual Ross? It's just a journeyman. Right? There's no actual Ross on the map. I'm still doubting about where to go. It's so cool. So this gets me a Myrmidon fight, a village for plus one strength, and then probably a thief for XP. So that's like some XP and one village. I think it's only one village max anyway. Actually, we can get two, I think. If we go here and then here. 
We can't get two villages, but we have to miss out on the uh, on the hammer time fun. The armory probably won't give me anything, which is why I kind of want to go here, fight the Myrmidon, get the village, get the thief. Yes, it's like a roguelite when you die. Uh, let's get another max HP. I wonder what the what the correct choice is there, objectively. But that max HP, I think, in, in the long run, is gonna it's gonna be clutch. Right, let's fight this Myrmidon. Hopefully, he doesn't do that much damage to us. They they do level up every time we fight, though. Right, like every time we go to a different uh, map chapter, they go they get one stronger, basically. Only has 11, so we should be fine here. We just need to get the bush. We just need the old bush gaming. To the bush we go. Ah, he's, he knows. <laughs> he knows what we do. You'll see when we get there. Right now we have a good build going, so I can't really show the hub off. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright. Another one goes in the belly. Belly just feels like an infinitely better version of Skelly, not gonna lie. Oh, right. We get cash after we die, and then we buy shit. That's right. So is that gold, like, just a different currency, basically? If, I, I know they're both called gold. But after we die, we lose all the gold we have, and we get different gold. So it's kind of like in Hades, right, where you, during the run you have obols, and then after you die, you get, like, darkness and other meta currencies. I think the gold you get afterwards is, like, meta currency. But it took me a while to grasp that, if that's how it works, because they're both just called the same. Yeah, Armor Knight seems really nice so far. It's also just a funny class. And these poggers level up aren't hard and eater. Damn, we're going. We're going zooming. Oh, you also get gold for winning a battle, right? Yeah, because they always drop like 200 gold. So that's another cool reason to go fight stuff. Instead of just chickening out. Interesting, interesting. That makes me want to fight, but this is just guaranteed plus one strength. Or recruit if you want to do that. But we don't want to fight the mage, so we have to go here, I think. Uh, get an attack. How much, how much gold do we have right now? I mean, we just got two hundo from fighting that guy, so it's fine. Belly eating everything. Also, we get like to use Gilliam next, which is you know another pro. I gotta tell Bopper about this game. It's turn fifty nine, guys. We're LTCing this. Defeat a great evil, guys. Why is Gilliam listening? Oh, because he's in the capture. He's in the horny jail. Uh, I wanted to check my gold. That's fourteen twenty. Uh, we can go for another strength, but I feel like fighting is more fun. So let's go fight a thief. Because, like, yeah, we can get plus one strength, but also get gold and XP and funny. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Why am I in Lina Jill? Why am I here? Do you have extra move? One, two, three, four, five, six. He sure does have extra move. How much attack do you have, friend? Ha, <laughs> good one. Alright, don't steal my shit, please. Don't steal my Grimoire. It's the only one I have. I'm gonna get killed by my good friend, the Tactician, if you steal my shit. Murder! Murder! It's a Gaiden castle. It's a little bit too elaborate for that. Hello, thief. Hopefully he gets extra XP for being a thief. Lost tanking? I mean, I'm sure you can get Nosferatu in your shop somewhere, but it'll probably break us. No, 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 do not quit. I don't know what happens when you quit. Alright, let me 1v1 one one this thief real quick. I know the hatchet is more accurate, but come on. Big iron is funnier. Let me just grind weapon rank on him real quick. Yeah, exactly. I want to get to C so I can use my Sword Slayer. I want to miss as often as possible. We've evolved beyond the need for a bush. Wait, if the, it's just this guy, then these tiles will give me 20 of void. What is this scam? How close am I to see? It's going to be a long ways away. Goodbye, thief. Damn. So much XP. So nice. Another map, guys. This is it. This is the run. This is the run. We're pragmatic, too. How did we get that skill again? I don't want to have that happen again. Okay, so what do we got here? Village, armory for with some gold, but not a whole lot. Uh, free battle against an Amelia, probably. Oh, this is all. This is Trainee City. <laughs> Look, all the trainees are here. Uh, fighter, no mini boss. I don't see. I don't see a mini boss. I kind of want the Vones. There was a vendor, right, where I got that Von. Can I buy them? Maybe I can buy them with the armory. I should check for the, the army for Vons. Uh, nope, no Vons here. We kind of poor. We're kind of poor. 
virgin leaf, bro. So strong. What can we get here? That's kind of cool. Most of the stuff here I already have. So I don't think we're buying anything here. Manikari? Yeah, there's so much stuff. Was not a chest? Oh, it's okay. So we should try to get some chests at some point. I don't think we really buy anything here. Can I sell things like the lightning tone? That's a good question, actually. I should probably take out the lightning tone ne next opportunity when I see like a shop. Because I'm never going to need that this run unless I just recruit like, I don't know, Lucius or something. Okay. So the chest is probably worth getting just for the excitement alone. But that forces us into combat with a Yuan. Which I'm not sure if that's... That's probably something we can take. How much level do you? Seven? We can check the stats, you know. We should probably take advantage of that. I have three speed and he's got seven... Six. So he doesn't double us. Fire probably has like four or five mites. So that's like 12 attack. 10 damage each. It's not brilliant. But we do have... I mean, let me get the chest beforehand. Emilia or chest forces you to you and yeah. Which is a little cring. We can at least heal to like full if the, we go to the church and then Amelia. Or we can just, you know, take a very peaceful trip here. We can get on a chest here. We don't have to get this chest. We can go for this village for plus one strength. And I'm assuming we can go here somehow. If not, we'll just go through the church and then get the chest from the behind. I guess. That seems safer to me than finding the Yuan. Uh, like, I would like to get experience, because I don't know what level what level am I. Level, level 8. I would like the experience. But... I'd rather get a chest. Because chests are funny. Yeah, so I'm thinking we can go back here with the church. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Yes, that's, that's the plan. So we'll go here. Get the house. Get the house. Get the church. And then get the chests. Get the best of all the worlds. So let's get... I'm kind of feeling an item again. I'm kind of feeling an item again. Hey, that's nice. That's good to have. Uh, do we have to convoy drop that? Let, let's take out the, the Grimoire or the, the, the Lightning Tome when we can. I don't think we have another armory on the way here. So we're not getting this skill, right? We're getting the next one. Okay, I don't know if it's always a skill, but it could also, also just be gold. Let's go here. Let's take out the Lightning Tome. I think he just convoy dumps every time we go to a new chapter. Uh, anyway, we're going... We're going left, right? Yeah, we're going left. So we're getting this. I mean, we're, we're kind of poor, right? Uh, let's get... Let's get another item. Ah, how wonderful. Okay. Next time I'm doing one attack again. I, th I feel like the most common one is gold, because that's mostly what I've seen, but I don't know. Alright, let's go to church. Let's heal up, I guess. Because it's free and we're kind of broke. It feels kind of weird going through a map without fighting anything. Maybe we can technically still fight, I think. This might be something at the top. Yeah, we can fight a pirate if we want to instead of getting this church, which we probably should. Because the church is just going to give us plus one max HP while the fight is more funny. 2k! Well, that's a good sum of money, at least. Murder! <laughs> Every time we get trapped into a small room. Murder! Anyway... Uh, yeah, I think we'll fight. Fighting seems fun. Like, how much attack do you have? Eight speed is kind of nasty, to be honest. How much speed do we have again? Yeah, we're gonna get doubled. So, we might take some, like, damage here. But, it's also a bunch of XP. Peace was never an option. Question mark tiles were really spiked this up. I know, right? Alright, let's fight the pirate. Uh-oh, it's a boat map. No, no bush! Can we do it without the bush? Do we have a pillar? Oh, we have a wall. That's not a pillar. How strong are you? Iron Axe, 18 attack. That's survivable. We take 10 damage per combat. I mean, if we two-shot him, then we only take what, 10 damage once. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. It's a, it's a very cute game. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, and we, we dodged one, so we took five damage, assuming we, we kill him here. I think hatched kills? Nani? We're in bush. Yeah, I, I could hatch it first, I guess. Yeah, maybe? Is that better? Maybe it would have been better in hindsight. 
Yeah, actually, because then he never gets to double me. Yeah, that would have been better. That would have been better. But it worked out. It's it's as if we had we did that, kind of. Okay, get some defense, bro. Oh my god, he's so good, but he didn't get defense. <laughs> he did get, we have, have four magic, though. Yeah, we couldn't become Pillar Man. Unfortunate. Oh well. I miss Bush. I feel like every map is roughly the same though. Like not not like the training maps, but the every hub is kind of the same. Like I'm going through roughly the same path every time. I'm wondering if that changes ever. Okay, so we don't want to end up here with the mage. So we're skipping that armory. Uh, but we can take like everything else here. Maybe not the monk. So right now I'm thinking village uh, cav. This can probably go either way. Fighting is more fun than church, although we might need to heal at that point. And then we get an armory. If we go calf, then we can go get a chest, which I kind of like. Because we don't have that much money anyway. I could help her to calves, yeah, for sure. I could. I probably need to take it out of convoy. Also, we should make sure that Skelly does not have the Vulnery on him, unless he's planning to use it. I should also remember that to uh, take out the Lightning Tome and the Slim Lance and stuff to sell it in the armory when we have a chance. So maybe we should go for an armory somewhere just to sell our shit. But also chests is fun. Let's get another point of strength. And then get this Cav. Let's fight, bro. 1v1 me. Ah, Bush Gaming returns. We did the same as last time, we just uh, hit him with the... with the thing. I think so. Equip Halbert? I mean, I'll, I'll get it out at least so I don't forget. Uh, Halbert? How long until Fiend Cleaver, bro? I think we were able to, like, nearly tink calves. Is this, like, the same calf? Is it gonna show up? This is the same calf, I wonder. So Hatchet is a... 60 nice chance of hitting him. Oof. It's kind of tempting to like hatchet him first so he doesn't hurt me all the time when I try to hit him with the halberd. But you guys want halberd game, right? That's that's what you're here for? Go get him, belly. Yes! That's what you're here for. Halberd YOLO. The one shot. Yo, Armor Knight's kind of pog. Zero is better than two. Okay, now what? Uh, Thief or Archer, I feel like are both doable. Church is whatever. Another calf fight seems fun. And then we get the chest as a bonus too. I think my path is clear. My path is clear. It's the castle again. Is the, is the map you get dependent on the enemy you fight? It doesn't feel like you get... Yeah, this is a tank battle. I feel like the battles depend on the class you fight. Yes, this is the Elon Musk channel. We're, we're testing our new Teslas right now. But his armor knight is Liddy. How much strength do we have at this point? 11? It's, it feels like a lot more. I feel like we got a lot of villages and like... Not, maybe not a lot of strength level ups on the way. <laughs> Any promo items in the shop? Not the shops we've seen, but it's been a while since we've been anywhere. Stop getting- get some strength, bro. Get some- get some defense. Stop getting magic and res and stuff like that. Well, this is my- well, actually, I have lower equip- I have lower accuracy equipment right now. I forgot that Aaron was not my least accurate equipment right now. Uh, I have 75, 70, and 75. Yeah, I should have done, like, Halbert technically, but... You're not here for the grind. You're here for Lamau Halbert go. Right? Right? Go get him, boy. Uh, oh, just, just literally just enter him. It's... I think it's playable finished, but the character still planning to do updates. Way cool. And uh, as I've mentioned before, there is a plan for an updated patch. You know what? That's fair. That is fair. Am I gonna get doubled now? Yep. This is our punishment for missing. We're gonna take like four damage if we miss twice. And there's a lot of features planned too for future updates. I would read some out, but I need to focus on this super duper deep gameplay. 
I kind of want to play with, like, I kind of want to try other classes and characters too, but all we have so far is Gilliam. I'm hoping that the, that a mini boss shows up at some point that we can, like, reasonably fight, not Lena when we're low on HP. Armor Slayer at some point? I mean, I have a hammer. Maybe the Cavalier can have an Armor Slayer at some point is what you mean? Yeah, probably. Alright, you guys ready for some loot? Skill scroll? Oh, those are, those are always fun. I say, as I've gotten one that excited me. They're random skills too, right? So we just use this in battle, I think? Oh shit, are we just forced into a miniboss here? Well, this is our specialty though. This is another Gilliam. Are we gonna get our second Gilliam? Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> Well, Gilliam, I'm afraid to say that I have the technology now, so you might not like the outcome of this battle. Yep, Gilliam. No, I don't care if you have friends. I'm gonna demolish you and your friends and everything you stand for. Wait. Wait, when did you get an upgrade in weapons? Oh no. What have you got there, Gilliam? Elbow room? Chivalry? What? Only I can upgrade my weapons. That's not cool. Oh no. Axe Reaver, what? What? No. No, Gilliam. How could you do this to me? How can I beat that? I can't even use Sword Reavers yet. I'm a, I'm a poor D-Axe person. It, it definitely is vulnerary time. I also think it's time to hit Gilliam with a big old hatchet before he ever gets to strike me. I want to say the play is... Oh, she has overlapping ranges and everything too. This map does not give me many options, except plus 10 avoid ruins. Which might be the play. I'm assuming they're all going to move right away. And they're all going to hurt me right away. This one is like, whatever. That's just a Toxin Lance. That's that's going to suck, but it's not the worst. Alright, chat. The only question is, do we pray for Bush, or do we go for this plus 10 avoid tile? How much does Gilliam have? 93. Oops, bumped into my mic up there. Sorry. 12 avoid turns probably into like 27, 37. Damn, dude. Ready for the skill scroll? You're probably right. We should we should skill scroll first to see what it is. Fuck this grimoire. Fuck this halberd. Get me the phone and the skill scroll. Skill scroll, save me! We learned sword! Oh yes, we do need hammer. You're right. Okay, they're all moving. We learned sword. And sword is... Arcane Blade. When initiating battle at one range, add 3 plus magic divided by 2 to hit and crit. Well, that's gonna be a fantastic... Fantastic 3 plus 4 divided by 2 hit and crit. We have S rank axes now. Only when we're initiating at one range, you gotta love to see it. You know what, I can't complain because Pragmatic was super strong. Uh, I'll probably also apparently Gilliam can't reach me, I think the soldiers have one more move. So we have uh, we have a little time to dabble with this Axe Reaver guy. Maybe we should... Oh, I really want to hit the Axe Reaver guy before he hits me. But I also want to use a Vuln before I freaking die. Because if I go in and hit the Axe Reaver guy, then all these enemies get to attack me. Which I don't think is worth. What I think is worth is getting these guys on enemy phase and using a Vuln now. Uh, we should get out the hammer, I guess, for next turn. And I think we should uh, use our Iron Axe here. Or actually, the Hatchet has better accuracy. I want to get the initial hit on them. I'm going to get surrounded, though. It's going to be really bad. It's going to be real bad. The Axe Reaver guy is going to screw me over. Oh, that... I didn't realize that would do zero damage. That's actually kind of relieving. Is there a Copium chance? Can I move onto that thing? Oh, they can't move onto it. It's too... F oh, okay. We gain a turn of respite. Okay, so we can ignore the Horse Slayer guy. We can... See what we do here. So that guy does a lot of damage to me. Do we hit Gilliam first, or do we hit this uh, Axe Reaver guy first? I feel like the Axe Reaver guy has a higher chance of hitting me. Also, we can't... If we want to stay on the ruins, we have to hit this guy first. So I think that's our play here. I think we hit that guy with that. And then... Oh, Chad, do you remember which one of these people moved first? Yeah, I want to I wanna activate my Pragmatic by hitting something, but I think it's better to hit this guy. Hatchet Axe Reaver? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Where Chrome stream? <laughs> Dude, I'm working on the scripts. I'm working on the scripts. Toxin lands. We can ignore Toxin lands. Except when he hits me, I'm gonna get poisoned. It's gonna suck, but that's just how it is. So what does he do again exactly? Open terrain. 
Well, this is not open terrain, is it? This is ruins. So if we bait Gilliam here, he's also going to lose that skill, which seems kind of important. Chivalry, which be... Okay, so we want this to be not true, I guess, but also we want to be at full HP because it saves his HP. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the guy with the actual revolt. Hit? No, we didn't hit. He has spear. Yeah, yeah, but he might one-range me if I have um, this equipped. He did not, though. Okay, so hopefully we can dodge it as long as we can. I kind of want him out of the way so he stops doing this to me. Like, maybe I want to Iron Axe him next turn. I guess the Action Reaver can't reach me now, which is great. Well, not, never mind, he can. I guess it depends on move order. No, 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 don't give up yet, Marcus. Don't give up yet. Defense level up. It's coming. Right here. Plus defense. Anytime now. Anytime now, Billy. Alright, is Gilliam time or is it actually for time? It's actually for time. Well, at least Gilliam is no longer getting the plus two attack from being at full HP, I guess. On the negative side, we're going to get speared a couple times here. With elbow room activated. It's dodge! No! Belly! You were supposed to dodge the next five hits, too. Alright. Okay. It might be you over, guys. Where are we at? What chapter did we get to? Can we can we see that somehow? I don't know if we can see that. I want to see it's like seven or eight or something. What a run, though. What a run. Okay, if I hammer the axe reaver and I hit copium, I feel like if I don't hit the axe reaver now, it's gonna be like way too much HP lost to ever continue. It's not over till it's over, that's true. I mean, we can always dodge Gilliam, right? What is What gives me the best odds of eking out a win somehow? Maybe levels are the same as the chapter, aren't they? I think you're right, that would mean we're in level 6. But Gilliam is level 9, so what do I know? Level 6 sounds about right. I check the Toxin guy. Hmm... I think Gilliam will always go for a kill if he can, so it doesn't really matter about manipulating his damage yet. Yo, the Axe Reaver. In Hammer, we trust. Kill Toxin guy. Axe Reaver leaves you with one dodge Gilliam. That is the alternative, isn't it? Kill this guy to like, get one less fewer. But this guy only has 30 hit. Whereas this is legit out. Do we get weighed down by this? We do. So that's going to reduce our odds of dodging. All right, let's get the Toxin guy. We will have to trust in Hammer later, but this also gives an opportunity to Hammer Gilliam next turn, maybe. If we, if there is a next turn. Obviously, we have to dodge the Axe Reaver, which is like 0% chance. But at least we won't die to Gilliam. And that's what matters. Okay, so that's gonna suck, but we can maybe kill him next turn. All right, Gilliam is gonna have to miss, though. Gilliam, you're gonna have to miss. A lot of times, actually. Dodge. Oh! Belly's got this. We're going to turn this around. Watch. All we have to do is dodge Gilliam a million more times. And by Gilliam, I mean, actually, I think one more enemy phase dodge on Gilliam gets us there. Because we can kill the Axe Reaver guy if we hit the 69. And if Gilliam misses his 46, then we hammer him in the face. So we really just have to hit a 69 and then dodge a 46. This can still happen. But we're gonna need a little luck here. Let's get it. Is Gilliam killing Gilliam in the map? I don't think so. I think it's always route, but I didn't check that. I maybe should know that for next time. No, I don't want to hammer because it weighs me down. So Gilliam has a higher chance of hitting me. Oh, Pog, level up, we're dying. <laughs> Gilliam, you can't do this to me. Not after all we've been through. Just recognize that I am the superior armor knight. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. We can do this, we can do this. Trust. Trust. Can we get out with one HP? Can we get out of this? Have our immaculate plays led up to this moment. Where we hammer Gilliam in the face. He does double us though. Remember all those times that we visited a church and said, I want plus one max HP. And he looked at us like, Dude, are you serious? You came here for 1 plus 1 max HP? And we said, yes, that's what I want. This is why we did that. Kabamo! Dead Gilliam. 
<laughs> hey! Two Gilliams! Do we keep the higher level one with all his gear? That would be super nice. That's me asking. That's me asking information. Let's get it. 2,500 gold. Alright. I think now we have to pray to church. <laughs> I think we have to heal 10 here. Does the hack have it where you always crit when you kill the boss? Yes. Because I had zero crit there. Okay, so church. Get one of the chests. Fights Marcia? I mean, she's probably going to have some kind of cheating weapons. I'm going to look at her skills in a little bit. Let me just look at the future path, right? So after Marcia, it looks like we can do just about anything we want. Same for Gonzo. Ooh, I just realized this here. Mage doesn't seem good. I'm just looking at what chest to get. I can also get Church and then Thief. I can skip the mini-boss again. So let's see if we can reasonably be in shape to fight Marcia. If we get 10 HP back, right? So she only has 9 strength. Don't see your weapons, but it's probably kind of beefy if Gilliam is that strong. Seal speed. I mean, you're already doubling me anyway, probably. Kanto. Miracle. Well, if we don't, if we get a below HP, it doesn't matter. And then Lance Fair. So that's pretty bad. That's pretty strong. I don't think you can get Church without going to Gonzo. Oh. Mm. Oh, this Church. Yeah, you're right. I can't get that Church. You're right. We also can't go Chest Gonzo here. We have to go this Chest Gonzo. So if we get any chest, actually, we get to f we have to fight a mini boss. And I mean, if we're fighting a mini boss, it probably should be Marsha, assuming Weapon Triangle carries us again. Plus, like when we just fought Gilliam, he had friends with him, and Marsha might have friends too that are like killing us. I don't think we can do another one of those fights at 10 HP. So hypothetically, we could fight the soldier instead, then go to another church, and then fight this. Um, well, we have to fight the mage at that point, which seems kind of bad. Only six speed. We have. Five, so we're probably fine with fighting the mage. And then we get a chest or a thief or a generic brigands and we're out. Mage is kind of one shot. Well, at my HP currently, yes. Depends on what depends on our weapons, I guess. I'm gonna get 10 HP back from the church. And I have five res, yeah. Somehow I have five res. I really want the church now, because if I if I fight the soldier right now, I just die, right? Like the soldier's not gonna tank me. So I think the church is church is forced, which forces me into a chest. Which forces me into Gonzo or Omar Marcia. We're gonna hammer bonk him? Who the mage? I don't know if we one shot a mage. Soldier have the advantage. Yeah, but the last soldier did damage to us. I guess the thing you think soldier's forced? Uh, that's funny you say that because I think the church is forced. Because if you do soldier Well, first of all you have to live, the soldier, and then you go to church. And then you go mage? Like, basically, going to Soldier forces us to another awkward battle. It's 100% the church. That's one thing, too. I think we take 10 HP, and then we have to fight, use the 10 HP to fight Martian. It's either beat Martian with 10 HP, or fight a Soldier with 1 HP, take a church, and then fight a Mage with 10 HP. Hmm. I feel like Gonzo and Marshall would be more iffy at 11 HP than a mage. Yeah, but the only way we can fight the mage... I mean, we saw before the mage is against the mage. I was not able to one-shot mages before. You pray the soldier to zero. I mean, the, we can maybe dodge the soldier. The soldier map has a bush, right? I think. I got range with hatchet. Yeah, there's a way to make him have thing. I really want to fight Marcia too, but like her minimum damage is going to be plus 4 damage when equipping a lance, so that's 13. Iron Lance, I'm assuming she has like, I'm assuming she has an Iron Lance for some reason. That would be like 6 or 7 might, right? So that's 13 plus 6 is 19. We do not have that much defense. We take like 5 damage from Marcia. I think, think about that, we could maybe take Marcia actually. If we heal up, I think we can 2-shot Marcia. Because with the hatchet right now, we have, um, like, the hammer is our strong bone, that's 22, but the hatchet alone is minus 6 from this, so that's uh, 16. And 16 to Darmarsha does, like, 8, plus 1 for Whipper Triangle probably is 9, and then we just kill her with something else. 
The minions, yes. If they have like an action reverse or something, we're kind of dead, yes. But the soldier with action reverse is GG too. 16 attack hatchet. Yeah, I think that's the math. That math works out, I think. Soldier's best choice. We can use Sword Slayer now. Yeah, that's that's true. Although I don't think we want to equip a Sword Slayer against a group of enemies. Soldier, Church, Mage. We have CX. Do we now? Oh, true. We do. Hmm. So we can beat an actually for Soldier. You're right. Uh, well, I guess I'll fight the Soldier. It is decided. I mean, if, Mar if Marsha battle looks anything like, you know, the Killian battle, we probably can't beat Marsha. I love that many bosses have a substantial reward, though. Okay, so this is the Gillian map again. Uh, how much damage do you do? 13. Uh, do we just tink that? We tinkin'. Chat, we're tinkin'. We're tinkin'. Let's go. The run is still alive. We're still alive. Let's go. We're tinkin'. Weak saw soldier. Now you're tinkin' with portals. This is so fun. It's so silly. Pull out the Sword Slayer while it's free? I mean... Maybe. I didn't check, but there's a possibility he does damage when I have the Sword Slayer equipped. I know Pragmatic is active, but... I should have checked that at the very least, for sure. Alright. Alright, Skelly. Now what? We can fight the Ross. But we probably just want to go to church and heal. That's like pretty much forced, and then we have to go fight the mage. And then whatever happens, happens. So we'll go get some healing here. Rest up to get 10 HP. And hopefully the mage doesn't kill us. Yes, I start all over from the beginning then. But I, th I think I keep my XP. So I've been able to just trash the early levels, I think. I also get to use Gilliam next. I don't know how good he is, though. Can we see Gilliam's stats real quick? This is the old Gilliam. This is not the real Gilliam. We beat the real Gilliam, but he doesn't join us. Cringe. Alright, let's hope we don't lose to the mage all of a sudden. That would be very anticlimactic. Alright, mage guy. I know your map. I think we calc that we survived like a fire hit from the mage. 11, yeah, we lived that. With some ease too. And do we get to one-shot this guy? 20... Uh, no, we don't get to one-shot him anything. Actually, with a stronger weapon, maybe we do. Hammer? And two, no, my strongest is the hammer with 22. We're not one-shotting anyway. I've died once, and I reset the whole thing because I wanted a different class. So, is it once again hatchet into bunk with the iron axe or something? Or hatchet, hatchet? Or do we try to fight him from the... I think we fight him from the force first again. So, we'll go here. The yeah, Pegasus Knight was just kind of shitty. I think we want to get the push. I think the push is worth so we can hit him now, get Pragmatic, but then we die, so I think we just wait. A run counter on the stream? Like, blow the chat? Yeah, probably. I probably can. I'll do that. When I'm not fighting a mage in the battle to the death. If I miss, by the way, the run is over. <laughs> like, it's basically over. Alright, Skelly. You yeah, got this. Oh yeah, technically it's round three. You're right. All right, hatchet. Don't feel me now. Yes. Is that a legit crit? Because this is not a boss, and he just did 42 damage. Whereas the boss force, the boss, the forced boss crit is just aesthetic. Okay, we beat the mage. So at the very least, we get our next chapter reward. Uh, I don't think we fight the Brigand at, what is it, where we're at, 5 HP. I think we have to hope there's some healing next chapter. The Thief probably tanks us, but the chest could get us something cool. I think chest it is. 2k! Chapter 10. Enemy level goes from 9 to 10. Node 1 shop. That's Falnery time, and 13 to 15 is boss forced yo forced boss actual boss encounter let's check it out so we definitely want to go church we definitely want to go vendor what's going on here uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh <laughs> wait two rennings and a sophia 
This looks pretty free, though. We could probably fight that Sophia. Uh-oh. All right, let's check out the bosses real quick. Renning looks, um... Like a problem. I mean, at least they have no weapons, right? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> now there are two of them. He's not a mage knight, he's a, he's a dark knight. It's different. It's also scary. Why are you like this game? I don't think we're beating this boss, guys. I'm afraid to say. I do have a halberd. That's true. If I hit him with a halberd, does he die? I want to say the answer is no. But maybe there's some kind of cheese possible where we hit a where he hits he hits us and then we hit him with the halberd and we hit him again and then we win. I mean, if it's a mage knight, he might just roast us from range, but we can cope, right? I think we should aim to get the falter because there's like a chance that we can dodge him, maybe. I also just want to get Sophia, which is also, I think, forces our path a little bit. So this we can probably win with some HP from Vaughn's, but I don't know if we want to. But I think we go church to heal, and then. Uh, I think in order to get Sophia, we have to get Soldier and then beat Sophia. And then we're forced to Valtern. Hire a Sail Sword, tank some hits. If we go to the village, we can do that. That forces us to fight Renning. Oh, yeah, I wanted to sell the things. That's true. Let's see if we can do that. So, Supply, take Lightning, and what's the other thing I wanted to sell? Slim Lance, Interact. Sell Lightning, Stun Lance, they're pretty cheap, but you know, gold is gold. I have so much gold, holy shit. Devil Scythe. Ah, oh, it's a Lance. Devil Axe? Oh! <laughs> if we have no chance at all, there's always Devil Axe. Almost want another Hatchet, almost. Silver Axe we can't use, right? We don't have that rank. We can get a Steel Axe, though. I don't think this run is going to last a whole lot longer, but we might as well. Devil Axe Gaming, I think that's a, that's a guarantee. Hand axe, honestly, extra options. I like it. Swords I already have. Nothing is like run out yet. But I don't know when we get next to another chance. So let's get the hatchet. I think we can like. What's this? Oh, huh. What? Oh, wait. So is it is it just the same description as this? Yeah. Okay. It is. Okay. All right. So this is like a monster weapon, I guess. Okay. And it's a red ball. All right. We have another hatchet. Dude, you cannot break a devil axe. It's impossible. Devil monster weapon. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is. You're right. Okay, I think this is all we want, right, chat? The devil dragon stone. Definitely what it feels like. Should buy a monster weapon to test. I can't use those. I already know. I mean, it would be funny to buy them, but I lose all items upon death, so there's no point in buying shit, I think. An item? No, I would. Nah, 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 nah. It ain't. We're keeping our gold so we can train more. Okay, well, again, we're at like 5 HP, so it's time to heal. Interact. Rest up. Zzz. But, like, if we have to restart, imagine, like, how many free, like, shit we can get on the first couple floors because we're so strong now. Or we can use Sophia, you know, whatever you guys want. Okay, so soldier into Sophia, right? Like we want to get, we want to fight Sophia, right? That's that's just this is a given for content. Hello, Mister Soldier. Chat hates Sophia. I don't care. I love Sophia. Fifteen attack. We thinking. What are you thinking about? Think. Well, close enough anyway. Oh, I mean, that's a good time to burn some bad misses. Is it axe rank time? Let's check if we take damage when we use the uh, Sword Slayer. The Tinkaton. Devil Axe? I don't want to kill myself, dude. Not yet. I'll Devil Axe when we're desperate, which is guaranteed to happen. Okay, I'll take out... I don't want to... Nah, I'm gonna just going to check and then use something else, probably. Uh, Sword Slayer. Let's check, right? Okay, yeah. I don't think we should use this weapon, chat. Hot take, I know, but I don't think we should use this weapon. I think we use this weapon. Double XP, though. I'm not sure if it doubles, if that's supposed to mean XP, or if it's just weapon XP. But, all I know is I want to try. Oh, is it time to vaunt, by the way? Hmm, maybe we should have vaunt before. I guess we can vaunt like a dead turn against Sophia. Because there's guaranteed to be one. Just go out of range, Lamau. All right, that was opening speed. That's that's what it does in vanilla, yeah. Okay, got some gold. 
Maybe we should have given him the vault so he uses it like when, when he's an NPC. Because we did. Did we buy vaults? We went to a vendor, right? Did we not? After war. I want to say we didn't. The shard doubles extra XP? Wait, what? Really? Cool. Interesting. I guess because there's no monster up in rank, it makes sense, but that's kind of funny. Uh, what? Sophia, hello? Those are your friends? I don't think we were allowed to bring friends. If we did, I would have brought some of my two. Okay, alright. What do you guys do? 15, 15... Poison? You're such a fun killer, Sophia. Also, why do you have Fenrir? <laughs> why do you have that? And also, why is your HP suddenly higher than I can one-shot? And why are we dying, Sophia? <laughs> Hold up, guys. We might not make it to Renning after all. Been was fraudulent. Uh, there might be a problem, guys. We might die to Sophia. Sophia's Discord mods. Wait, 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 wait. No, we're totally fucked. Trap game. No, Sophia. Sophia forces falter. Yeah, well, Sophia forces reset probably. Oh yeah, the Devil Axe one shot. That might have to be it. That might be the only way. I think we might have to like fight a monster turn one or something. I'm actually not sure. I won't bush. You have to dodge Sophia hit or something? 76 hit. I ain't got options here. I think here is bush. We can cleaver into DX. Yeah, into Devil Axe, right? Pink Cleaver's great. These guys don't do damage to me. I guess the poison doesn't really matter. I want to fight like some poison dudes, but I guess I can just ignore them for now. I guess I want to Devil Axe Sophia, but I don't want to Devil Axe the Renovance. Revenance. Re relevance. <laughs> so I want to fight this guy at the very least, and like enemy phase him here with the Fiend Cleaver. But then Sophia kills me, so I can't. But if I don't kill Sophia immediately, I have to Devil Axe everything on enemy phase. Sophia has 5 defense, so I think Devil Axe does get us there. I can't really check the convoy because I filled my inventory like a dumbass. Uh, I can Vuln, I guess. 31. Do I live at 4 HP? No, I don't. Barely not. I do trust the Devil Axe with, with my life, of course. But it's scary. How much luck do I have? I have 13 luck. That's not bad. You have a 1 HP? Yeah, but I can't get to 4 HP. Uh, if I have a full HP, I have 27. Yeah, you're right. But I only have one. Do I have a phone? I don't think I even have a phone. 1 HP, all we need. That's true. I think, like, moving forward is my only option. Like, maybe go here and have the option of the bush, but I'm pretty sure the bush is just not happening. Okay, let me see. I don't need the sword slayer right now. Yeah, I don't have a phone. We're just fucked. We just have to, like, come out. Fiend Cleaver it is. I don't think anything can attack us right now, so... This is just what our life is right now. And, like, going back doesn't help. We just have to trust in Devil Axe, I think. Uh, which I should have taken out of convoy. We do double Sophia. Wasn't it... Didn't I check overworld stats and I concluded I could just one-shot Sophia? Was I wrong then, or what? I... Like, did she change stats? Or did I do damage? Oh, God. Uh, does Fiend Cleaver want to kill? Okay, it does, for good measure. So... Cool. Oh yeah, we used we ran a bonus against Sick and Gilliam. Oh, did I use Vaughn's there? I guess I did. We dodging? I I mean we can dodge Sophia, I guess. I feel like the Devil Axe odds are are they better? Because we have to not backfire against any of the fiends, but it's also way funnier to use the Devil Axe against Sophia. Dodge tank with Bush. I mean the Bush is only 20 avoid. But I guess we can dodge tank Sophia for one turn with 31 hit. Theoretically. But, isn't Devil Axe way funnier? Like, isn't that just way funnier to do? Because, like, in order for us to survive Sophia in the first place, we have to... In order to survive Sophia, we have to dodge a 31 hit, and then not backfire with Devil Axe, while also against, like, several enemies. Whereas if we just Devil Axe her now, I mean, we still don't have to deck fire. I'm trying to convince myself Devil Axe is better statistically. Uh, I guess Hatchet on Bush is better. Yeah, actually, Hatchet on Bush seems really good. I don't kill anything here. I think Hand Axe would actually be better then, because I think it's stronger. So one round is more benefits. So either we have to dodge a Fiesta 31, or we just Devil Axe hit her, and then we just never backfire Devil Axe. 
But come on. I want the Devil Axe so badly. How much might you have? 18. 84% chance of backfiring at least once. For sure. Hatchet Push has never failed me. This requires a pull. This is a life or death situation, chat. There's two options here. You get to vote for one. Devil Axe, Sophia on player phase, or Bush Hatchet. Do we go with the tried and true, or do we Devil Axe for content? I want to Devil Axe so badly, but I'm leaving it up to you guys so I can blame you all. What does chat say? <laughs> Devil Axe for the content, come out of this dead or alive <laughs> like axes. No mind's telling me no, but my belly, my belly's telling me yes. Yes, one action is better, one action is funnier. Oh god, it's so close. The poll is so close. Yes, Mr. Isabel, but I'm assuming some of the people in chat are saying. Why is this so entertaining? 55 on Devil Axe. Poll's over. We Devil Axe in. All or nothing. Live by the axe. Let's get it. Here comes a crit. Goodbye. <sighs> well, alright. Now just don't backfire on enemy phase. Luck, 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 luck. Oh, we're totally dying. <laughs> we're totally dying. <laughs> Skill scroll. Um, <gasps> I'm a gamer, bro. I'm a gamer. <laughs> I'm a gamer. This was the plan all along. We live again, boyo. I live again, boyo. Chat knew. I didn't forget anything. I didn't think we were even gonna use the, the, the theme cleaver. I just realized that combo drop was an option. Could I have seen that? Was that skill scroll in Sophia's inventory all along? Damn, dude. That's clutch. This feels cheaper than Bush Hatchet. Look, we're fighting out in the open. I don't see how that's cheap. It was all the way. It was always there. Okay, so I'm just dumb then. I... I gotta wonder if that poison carries over. There's no way it does, right? It wasn't, it was green, alright. For some reason, I remember, like, Fenrir was green or something. I guess I was just, like, hyped on Sophia being so strong. So it asked earlier, was Sophia as strong in the overworld as she was here? Did I just miss the math? Because I thought we could easily one-shot her with something, but I guess I just... Yeah, damn. down. Okay. I'm gonna fiend for this guy, though. That poison's gonna be so obnoxious if, I, if it keeps it. It better not stay. Um, uh, pretty sure she was buffed. She's weaker. Okay, so can't trust the overworld. Now we can die to Vault like we want to. True. True. Uh, do we use the scroll now so that this guy just, like, dies on any phase? Because we're already poisoned anyway, right? So it doesn't matter. I think we use the scroll now to see what we get. Just equip the Fiend Cleaver. Uh, what else did I want to do? I don't think there was anything else we wanted to do in Convoy, right? I mean, we're going to use the scroll, yes. Get Howard for Venning. I mean, I guess we might as well get it out, I guess. Uh, we don't need the hammer for sure. Uh, yeah, get the Halberd out. I mean, we're, we're fighting Falter no matter what I think. It doesn't matter. I'll just get the, hat, the hand axe out, I guess. I ain't scrubbing back for that info. <laughs> no, you don't You don't have to. Alright, learn. Learn plus one. Guys, we did it. We got plus one. Imagine if we're poisoned against Valter. That will definitely be good. Tome range plus one? Oh no. Plus one fire tome. Lured mango. <laughs> Alright guys, let's figure out what we learned here. We learned that combo drop strats are immaculate. Seal magic? What if it was like seal magic and it helped us beat Renning somehow? Oh no! Belly! Uh oh. Poison is so bad. What the heck? He's gonna fucking die to poison. <laughs> In three turns, he'll be dead, guys. Hurry up. Get to falter. <laughs> How long does it take us to... Dude, this is so cringe. This is so cringe. Oh, let's check the skill before we fucking die. Uh, what do we get? 
Tome range plus one. How nice. That seems like a really broken skill to get in any other situation. It's fall over. Could I have gotten to Sophia from above or something? God, that battle was so unfair. What the actual fuck, bro? That poison is kind of... I mean, I'm probably going to die to Vault no matter what, but damn, dude. Oh, okay, that works, okay. I don't know why that works, but it does. Okay. Alright, Falter is alone. He's alone. But so are we. Alright. Can we get to the bush before this flyer catches us? The answer might be no. What do you got? Nah, that seems like a normal inventory. Master Seal, though. Master Seal, I want to promote. This seems kind of strong, though. He seems kind of strong. 110 hit with the spear. Technically, there is a chance to dodge. That's higher than zero. Excuse me, higher than zero. Uh, there's no dodgy tiles. Yeah, 45 HP is also a lot. Uh, he doesn't have that much defense, so... If we just get to the bush... <laughs> oh no, you're full of toxins. He has no luck. He has his 3 luck. Devil Axe crit. Maybe that's better than like trying to go for that bush, isn't it? Because the bush is 20 avoid. Just let him go at us and like first, let's go here and then Devil Axe crit him. Is that going to be our option? If only we got like a Killer Axe crit, right? Does Devil Axe crit even kill? You know it has 18 mites. So that's 10 more than this. That's 32, 33, 33, 20 damage. Yeah, that's that's a kill, Devil Axe crit. Crit source of some kind. No, he only has 3 luck. It's fine. We have 7 skill. We have 1% crit. <laughs> Uh, we have 1% crit with the Devil Axe. Uh, does any of this other stuff have crit? I think the Fiend Cleaver has some crit. 22, 23... It's, uh, 10 damage. 30 damage crit. Arcane Blade. Oh, right! Arcane Blade! Uh... Also, we have Pragmatic if we weaken him with the Annex first, but I don't think that's happening. Plus 3 plus... Ooh! Okay, alright, alright, alright. So we're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. Magic Knight Gaming. Okay, so it, just let him fly at us. Don't go for the bush, because the, the only way we get to the bush is if we just sit here and do nothing. Also... Mm, yeah, no, I think it's gotta be Devil Axe. It's Devil Axe time, guys. Take it out. The time has come. If I die, it might as well be to my own, my own uh, damage. Hail Satan! <laughs> Seven skill against three luck. Oh, maybe I don't have crit. You're right. Maybe. Mm, we have to. Well, we no. We have this. We have this. We have our skill. We have our cool skill. We have crit. Okay. All we have to do is hit a seventy, and crit a six percent. This feels more like I'm playing D and D than playing a roguelike. Six crit, baby. Six crit. All thanks to our not newest skill. Easy. D20. Natural crit. Here we go. We always get these crits. I've always crits but I've always every boss I've fought, I've crit. That's because of the aesthetic crit patch, but every boss I've fought so far I have crit. 0.042% chance. Really? That low? We're getting it easily. Uh oh, that is not the crit animation. No, we killed ourselves. I'm sorry, grandmother. My duty. We have died. You died. What a run, though. Gillian the Knight is now available as a deployable unit. Sophia the Shaman is now available as a deployable unit. You made it to chapter 10 plus 6,000 gold. I consider this a dub. What a run. What a run. Off the beaten path. I think we do need a counter for runs. I think we count this at like run 4, right? Okay, hold on. Let me get the overworld music. It's calming and nice. Can I deploy from here? I can't. No, I can't. Not really. Okay, let me get a counter for the runs real quick. Uh, add. 
I need... Hold up, OBS, let me, help me out, help me out here, OBS. God, this music is so good. Uh, da, 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 da. This is my legendary encounter from the Nuzlocke. I could just use that. But I do need to remember... It was so legendary. There you go. Now I can change it to zero or four, rather. No, I can't change this four yet. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Four. That seems like a good now mounts. And then I will copy, paste, duplicates, perfect. Change that to runs and okay. Change the font size a little bit. One fifty. One fifty. Beautiful. Okay. More like here, I think. Okay. And I'll let you make sure it works. There we go. <laughs> I think the runs to suffer from food poisoning. <laughs> okay. Again, free movement here. Super cool. Talk. Okay, so this is their. This was the first run that we did in the save file, because we did a couple. We did one run where we were Pegasus Knight, where we died once or twice. It was my first run in the save file. Yes. Okay. So now, build facilities. The Mernus tents. So trade gold earned to labyrinth for vouchers that are. I'm gonna read this again because I was confused last time, and I think now I would have a better grasp of it. That are retained between runs. We trade it back for the full value, but it cannot be sold. Okay. So we want to do this during the run. I keep forgetting what like the optimal thing is here, but whatever. Uh, let's also build a tavern. Recruit new heroes and review the different passwords that are associated with your heroes. Again, I don't know how that works, but we'll find out. Marvelous! Heroes may now appear outside of the tavern, between in between visits to the labyrinth. Okay. What else we got? I don't know how much gold we have. Armory, fishing hut, garden. I mean, apparently I have, I have like 6k, right? So I have 3.5k left. So I can buy one of these things, chat. You want an armory or you want a fishing hut? I have a bad feeling about this one. Armory, fish, fish. Armory, fish. All right, looks like it's pulling time. Build. Armory, fish. I have a bad feeling about this. While you guys figure this out, I'm gonna do my vouchers. Oh, so I can get my gold from right now. Okay, so actually I just realized what the purpose of this might be. So when I'm done building one more thing, I have a thousand gold left. I can turn that into vouchers so we don't lose it. Or we can keep the gold so we can buy shit during the run. But I'll try to turn it into vouchers. I think it means you can save the gold you get after you die, because if you re-enter the dungeon and die, you lose that gold too if they're not vouchers. I guess, yeah, I guess, so. yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Go to the tavern first. I thought there was nothing at the tavern. Is there something there? Tavern. I don't see anything here. Is it outside? Outlock passwords. Huh. Helium. Huh. Oh, I see. So these are just the characters that exist. Okay. Spoilers, guys. 
Oh, so many cool characters. Sophia. Okay, so do I have to enter the password somewhere? I'm assuming I can like play with Sophia next. Or like want to. Yes, Sakuzilla. It's free movement. It's great. It's really funny. I don't know how to implement it. Anyway, it looks like you guys want the fish, which, you know, I always knew chat had poor taste, but damn. Alright, we fishing. Fucking hate fishing minigames, but it's a roguelite, I guess. Build the fishing huts. Sells fishing supplies, buys caught fish, and rewards rare catches. Also allows fishing at any water adjacent beach house. No fishing rod necessary. Is it during the run? <laughs> well, here we go. Look, we had 3D movements over world map. I think this is like... This was within line of expectations. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Can I... So can I fish now? Like, like this? No, right? No, I can't. Alright. Probably need supplies. I'm assuming that's the fishing hut. Hello, fishing hut. There's largest fish. I don't have any fish yet. Buy lures. Oh god. I have to spend gold on this shit. Increase the amount of fish you want kind of within the hub. Oh, is this within the hub? Hold up. Okay, so let's say we get a basic lure, right? Okay, cool. Uh, cancel. So now we do just... Can we see the fish? Can I do this? I can't do anything. Oh. Okay. My turn just ended. There's like a limit on like how many turns you how many times you can move, I feel like. Beach. Oh beach, 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 right, right, right. I want to fish from a bridge. Leave me alone. The sky is clear and the fish are biting. Would you like to fish here? <laughs> you cast your line and A Truple! Oh baby, a truple! Alright, let's let's sell that fish. We bought this for 3 hundo, right? Let's see how much we get for it. This is the farming content you're here for, right? Largest fish. Tuple. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's like a record keeping things. Selfish. Wait. I only have one tuple. No, hold up. Tuple. Uh, okay, so... It just said tuple, right? It didn't say, like, what kind of tuple. It just said tuple. Probably fish more. Can I? Is the fishing... Wait, can I fish more? Hold up. Before I sell anything, let me see if I can fish again. There's a beach right here. Why am I walking all the way around? I'm an armor knight. Wait, I can just... Oh, so I can fish infinitely with the one bait I have? Not even... <laughs> we can only get one fish? Or is it like this? For forever? Are we just doomed to fish here forever for extra gold? Oh my god. Okay, so now if I go and sell... Just sell... Can I just say Truple? Yes. Sold! Selfish. Big Truple. Yes. No, I don't. Well, the, the, why did you offer me the option? Okay, so it's just, it's just Truple. I can't scam them. No, wait. What was it? Did I? Oh, I sold both. Right, I sold them all. We technically don't need lures to fish. The bait increased the fish up here? I see. But does this mean to just infinitely grind gold here? <laughs> and I just keep grinding fish? <laughs> Stonks? It seems like a pre for business model for the fishing hut. Still the lure? I don't know. Maybe not. Fishing is the new support grinding. On <laughs> Garrick Mog does to a motherfucker. Okay, they're not biting. Well, we did that. For sure, we did that. Thanks, chat, for voting fish. Super appreciate it. We did get a profit, so that's good. Fishing good. I want to go in the labyrinth, though. So, let's turn the rest of our gold into vouchers. Cool, so we'll do that. And then we have the main convoy somewhere, so we'll see that when we're there. Can we do anything else? What is this? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, honest good. I mean, we can also apparently just not do that. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, let's keep going. Let's do another run. We can do another run. Uh, menu, please. Alright, just... Menu, please. 
Okay, it's, it's glitched now, that's fine. Labyrinth. Oh wait, what, what, what happens if we... Can we pick a different character now? That's one thing I was wondering about, because we saw like the passwords, right? What happens now? Can I pick a different character? Ooh, two characters. Well, one is Charon. This is Sophia, Gilliam, or... <laughs> he keeps the lure around. <laughs> Good shit. Does, so does the lure go away then if I die? Because the items... I just go away, right? Okay, chat. I mean, I'm assuming you don't want another armor knight, bro. <laughs> Good old provoke. This is such a weird-ass skill <laughs> to have in a 1v1 game. Sophia time? Yeah, same. I, I, the menu's breaking is totally fine with me. I'm down for Sophia. Is, is everyone level 1 too? Yeah, he's back to level 1. That sucks, dude. What are your growth like? Uh, they sure exist. They're terrible. Gilliam's growths... They look like vanilla Gilliam growths. He's like... Belly has a way better growth, I feel like. But... Maybe his bases are better? Hold up. There's a better way to look to look at them. Unit list. Raisin's favorite feature. Favorite feature. So, belly. I got the same defense. That's like the most important thing. Gilliam has way better strength at base. Like he might be able to be able to one shot some things. Gilliam uses lances though, which I feel like is a bit worse because belly beats the sword users anyway. Um, Gilliam also has a positive speed stat. Uh, Gilliam's got more HP at base, that's for sure. I think your main character is always just 50% across the board. Yeah, Belly is better at devil axing. I think Gilliam's is better bases, but Belly's better growth. But we're using Sophia anyway, right? So, yeah. What do you have? Focus? Yeah, plus 10 critical if there's no allies within 3 tiles. So plus 10 crit, basically. We're gonna rely on crits when you use Sophia. Alright, Sophia gaming time. I think we just start from the scratch, right? Alright, starting shop. Okay, it does suck that you don't retain your level because now we have to train all over again, which is kind of unfortunate. Alright, let's get shopping. 1,000 gold. Well, let's get ourselves a flux. I think we already have a flux when we start out, but I'm not sure. Uh, Vones seem to be like at a premium, so we'll get some of those. Okay, I'm getting... This is, this is so cool. The way it like clicks when you're like playing it, it's like, oh, I have to talk to my savior. That's true. Maybe next opportunity we'll get in a, well, I don't know, there's going to be a next opportunity. Sophia kind of dies to everything. Okay, so Armour Knight seems like a better matchup than Pegasus Knight. Uh, although only two res on the Pegasus Knight. The Armour Knight is zero speed, the Pegasus Knight is five. Sophia does get way down by Flux, unfortunately, so there's no doubling Armour Knights until we get our point of that delicious, delicious speed. Also, because she's an NPC, we can't check our growth here, which is kind of unfortunate. But I get it because she can't be, like, controllable. Anyway, uh, what did I want to say? Oh yeah, I was going to check if she can survive the armor, right? I think the answer might be no. Uh, he's fasting. No, I think she does, she does tank one hit. And then from armor knight, we go to mage, and then we go bye. <laughs> so we could go to church. We can now get magic from churches instead of going to the villages for strength, I guess. We also get an item from the villages. The Nosferatu would be nice, yes. Okay, I don't want to do any of these physical enemies. I definitely don't want to do Wyvern Rider. She was 30, 20 or 30. Yeah, that's that's why I'm worried about. It. It's like I'm just gonna get doubled by things. I think we're gonna go um, Armor Knights. This combat is fun, and then Mage, and then hopefully we won't need the healing. But if we do need the healing, we can go to Church after the Armor Knight. But we'll just dodge the Armor Knight, right? And we wanna we wanna recruit already. I don't think so. I don't think we even have to go to that. Let's get an item. <gasps> oh, that's so good! That's so good. We have a robe. Gentlemen, we have a robe. Angelic robe. Alright, let's fight this mofo. We can definitely survive this armor right now. 1v1 me, bro. Dude, I'm already at the bush. You have no chance. Did zero speed. You're going down. Dude, her durability is so shit. So bad. Alright, let's use that as robe. Get to that bush. Two things I need. HP and bush. Oh, these are my vouchers. Nice. 
Okay, don't put the Vaughns in case he's going to use them in Overworld. Do we care about that? I don't know if we do. Anyway, max HP increased. Yeah, we don't want that because we might not care about this HP. We might go to church anyway. Okay, what do we have now? 22 HP. Okay, it increases your almost one shot. So good. What does the hit rate look like? Okay, that's that's tolerable, right? So I think we go Bush and hope to dodge and then we kill him. The, the sequel to Bush Hatchet. Bush Flux. Oh, we dodged. Nice. Wait, is that a crit? Wait, is that a crit? No, it's just... Sophia's animation is just really cool. Carry the Grimoire. Might increase weapon XP gain or some bullshit. I don't know. You can put Vaughn's in an inventory so you don't have to spend battle turns to heal. But I don't want her to use them there. Mm -hmm. Maybe it does something, I don't know. There's certainly a purpose for it, else it wouldn't be here. Alright, guaranteed dodge if we miss because of range. Yeah, the, the problem is that if she takes 11 damage, she uses two phones, and I think they're too precious to do that. IMO. Okay, so we have a little bit of XP, a little bit of gold. I do feel like the lack of defense on Sophia is definitely going to murder us. But hey, we just work with what we got, right? I think it's better to take on our enemy for XP. Than to go to church for plus one magic. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe the plus one magic is nice for one-shotting people. But we can also get plus one magic from just fighting, right? Uh, hold up. Growths? Because you could just get magic from a level up later. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, it's bush time. May just guarantee bush. <laughs> we'll protect Sophia. <laughs> I had to read that out to realize what the reference was. Okay, so yeah, he's, he's free. It's free. Okay, so you're just gonna do that every single time. The, the little wind-up that's, I think, from a crit animation. You know, catch up by finding stronger enemies? Maybe. It's complicated, because it's the, the church is just plus one magic, whereas this is progress towards a level that can give me more than just plus one magic and gold. But I guess it also costs weapon users and maybe I get injured against some enemies. I want to say if, free, if a free battle isn't better than a plus one magic, then I don't know why you would ever battle anything, right? Yeah, just a lot of effort on that Sophie animation. It makes me think all the all the characters have free animations. Anyway, um, recruit seems pretty bad because they we don't have a choice on whether... Oh, we do have a choice on these, actually. So we can use these to distract a boss at some point, if we ever are in a pinch. But also, item. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. That's a that's a good item. <laughs> Sophia doesn't believe in magic, so it doesn't it cannot hurt her. Okay, chests. Why does it say what the note 1 is? Like, that's something I can see. Why is that in the text box there? Okay, so this guy, we know we can't one-shot these. Um, Amelia's probably free. Armor Knight's probably free-ish. The Devil Axe can hurt Sophia. That was clutch, bro. I I think we'll take the church in this instance because we need our HP for the next fight too. Well, if we go through here, yeah, the next fights here are pretty bad anyway after this Armor Knight. I don't want that. So we'll go for the church, I think. Uh, free 250 gold. Can't say no to that. It's, the map is interesting, but it's kind of annoying that it's always the same map. Even if it has, like, different things in it, but it's still always the same skeleton, you know what I mean? Okay, so go to church. Oh, this is... Oh, the, never mind. Learn is plus one magic. I was like, wait, plus one HP? HP would be nice to not get one shot, though, I gotta say. But, you know what? We'll learn plus one magic. I feel like she might two-shot everything anyway, so maybe this is not worth doing. Because we'll never, we'll never be able to keep up with, like, enemy HP. But hey, whatever. We get magic. We're, we're glass cannons. We should embrace it. Anyway, we always fight the Amelia over the monk, right? How much res do you have, Sophia? Eight? How much back do you have? One? Maybe the monk is worth fighting. You can't do that much damage to me. There's no way we one-shot the Amelia, right? We only have... 16 attack, I think? 17 attack. Okay, so we don't one-shot the Amelia. Yeah, the monk stats are just hilariously bad, to the point where I think it's better to fight. Even though, weapon trial advantage. And after that, we can go Cav or Chest either way. Yeah, I think 
saw the thief earlier give more XP, but I'm not sure about that. And it also seems more weird because the thief was obviously terrible. How much attack do you have? Five. I sold your lightning earlier, boy. And there's a reason for that. His is, as we call it in the business, free. I have to hit though. Hey, that's weapon rank. No, my weapon rank. I really want Nosferatu, dude. Give me Nosferatu. I probably have to save up to get the Nosferatu. Like, it's probably pretty expensive. Oh, speed! We can kill Armor Knights now. Well, actually, depends on if they get speed too. But we got speed. That's what matters. Yeah, that's a pretty jank crit. There's not that many frames on it. But hey, they, they put effort into it. Um, I want to get an Armor Knight. I wonder, we have 650, I don't think, just, even if the Nostratus Tome is in this armory, it's not going to be 650 gold or less. I think what we want is a nice, juicy skill item. Can we get here? After doing all this? Probably, right? Chests, chests, chest. Triple chest. Say hope for Nosferatu. 5 hondo. I think, yeah, we can get triple chest and free murder. Yeah, we could free murder and armor knight as well. We don't get like new blocks when we get this chest, right? Let's just try it out. Five hondo. It's free. All right. In that last chest. I just want skill manuals. That pragmatic was so good. Holy shit. Okay, we just got triple gold, but gold is good anyway, so it's fine. We got it. Now we can buy an Ostrato next time we see an armory. We take those mini bosses. Gotta love those mini bosses. Okay, so from here, this is a free node. And there's Gonzalez. I'm gonna assume Gonzalez one shots me until proven otherwise. <laughs> Although this is like a funny ass skill. Only 5% activation though. I wanna say. Villages are not that great because we can't get strength. Although we could get an item. I wanna say it's village. Church for magic? And then we go left here for a chest. Fight an armor knight and then go to church. He does sound really fun, but I don't know if we can get him. We do two-shot him, I believe. But if he one-shots us, it's over. But also, it's Gonzalez. I mean, we do two-shot him, so if he doesn't start with a hand axe, and we know... Gonzalez has to be our least accurate units in the franchise, so... Whether we win is totally up to chance. 22 HP? I do. But also, he can have a stronger weapon. I do really want to go for Gonzalez. Let's see what the route would look like, right? So we go through this knight, and we use Vaughn's to heal, probably. And then we get a chest or an armory, which could get Nosferatu, I guess. Can we check that? <laughs> no, they don't let us do that. You guys want to go for for uh, Gonzo? I mean, if we get Gonzo, at least the run is never a waste. I have a bush. I don't know. I don't think we fought a Brigham before. I fought a pirate. They were on the boats. Boats do not have it. I think I'm gonna go for Gonzalez, just for content. So then... We have to fight this Armor Knight, no question about it. And then we have to... Well, it doesn't matter what we do here. We can go to Gonzo either way. I don't know if the chest is better than Armory. Can you get double Nostratu? Well, that's, a, that's another thing altogether, isn't it? Content, exactly. <laughs> he has a double axe, oh boy. Um, I'll take the Armory, I think. Because I think that might be worth... Okay. So that's here, let's get... Oh, we can get a bait unit for Gonzo in case we need it. We have to gold for this? I think we need our gold for the armory. I'm gonna get an item for free. Hey, that's for Gonzo. <laughs> I don't think we use Gonzo this run, though. Because he's, like, uh, captured... Question? Yeah, I have two, three Volneys, I think. I think I have three Volneys. Alright, Mr. Armor Knight. Go get me. This is a different map. Nah, it's not a different map, is it? Okay, so yeah, don't get one shot here, easy. I'll do it double. Five speed. No speed. You, sir, are about to learn what happens to those who don't subscribe to the philosophy of the bush. 
game already knows you're getting Gonzo. Alright, easy. Just don't miss. Sophia one-rounding an enemy within the same run that we got her. I guess this is not Sophia after all. This is Kanas. The angelic rope early on was like super nice. <laughs> Imagine if if Gonzalo's got one shot this, this HP with the, with the rope and everything. I'm like super weirded out. All right, let's go for Gonzo. I'm I'm gonna check the armory because I want to see if there's a there's an there's a dark tone here we can use. There's a bunch of shit here. There's gotta be something for dark. Blood pacts. Oh god, it's a devil. <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's a devil thing. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything else. I'm gonna buy a second flux. I don't think it's gonna last that long, but whatever. Fuck it. Get the blood packed. All we need. Hail Satan. <laughs> blood packed. Blood packed. That's actual XP. Wait, is it? Did you look it up, Mulder? Alec, I'm glad you like the Nasratu King himself. Canas, even though Nasratu is not good in FE7. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. It's Gonzo. He's on his own. This is Sophia's map. Remember that? It's Sophia's map. This is where we fought Sophia and beat her with the thing. He does not one-shot us. I think with without the robe, he would have. So we got so lucky in a way. Um. Anyway, I think do we? There's no way we double him, right? No, he's closer to doubling us. In fact, I think he does double us because we have eight. We have four AS, and he has like eight. So we're gonna need a good old dodge here, I think. Let's let's give ourselves access to the bush just in case. Take the blood pack from the convoy. Oh, I should have. I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't one shot. Yeah, this, the blood pack would not one shot us. But like, I think we die. Yeah, we're gonna have to dodge him. If you blood pack, then the cane shows up on the next map. You don't want that. I do not think. Oh, actually, what we also could do is attack him, and then uh, he attacks us. An enemy phase, because like we go from range and he doesn't counter, and then we counter him, and then he dies theoretically. Uh, so either we have to hit the 64, and then we have to hit another 64, or he has to miss one of his 454s, while we get an extra chance to attack, basically. So either we dodge 154 out of two, and we get three chances to hit our 64s. Or we just take up a straight up hit 264s. So do we just hit Lamao exactly? Do we just hit Lamao or do we Bush? Bush has never failed us. Easy blood packed crit. I guess if we attack, we also get a chance to. to uh, if we attack straight up, we also get a chance to crit, I guess. But we also get that if we're on the Bush. It doesn't matter. Bush? Bush for the Blood God? Alright. Bush for the Bush God. Bush it is. Bush has never failed us. Except when he was elected. But we don't talk about that. Oh, I should have taken out from the convoy. All right, go get him. Bush for no. Nice. Oh God, Mulder. That's not nice. That's bad. Well, no, Gonzalo's gonna murder Sophia. No, 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 no. No. The bush has failed us. How could it have done that? No, Gonzo. Blood pack would have held it down. Increase our chances of failure to increase your chances of success. I love the I love the logic there. But I should have put it in my convoy. Uh, what an urn. Okay. Shall we take Gillian for a spin? Because he's the only character we haven't used yet. Uh, hold up, free movement, right? Oh, I need to start. Gonzo. I didn't think Gonzo... So, this was with a, with a robe. It's quite insane that we weren't able to just survive that. Maybe Sophia isn't good. How dare you. How dare you. Uh, I don't think we can build anything. I don't think we have any gold. Do we? Uh, it kind of sucks that we can't just check our gold here. Can we? Yeah, I can't. I mean, I can turn off free movement. Maybe that will help. Um, so, what if we do this? Press the B button once this pop has been dismissed to completely complete turn off free movement. Okay, so B. 
Oh, now I see my gold. It's 500. Okay. Check my vouchers. Oh, that's true. We do have vouchers. So we do this. Then we get auto phase every time. <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, so we go here. We got our vouchers. You know what? Can I interact with the tents? It has to be Jason, probably. No, huh? How does this work? Do I have to go back and like enable free movements? Weird. Alright, let's turn on the free movement again, because this is very annoying not to do. Yes. On. Cool. I think it broke. I mean, I'm very good at breaking things. Okay, so now can I do this? Yes. Okay, so turn vouchers into gold. Can I just not do them all? Yes. All of them. Yes. No, fuck. <laughs> Turn vouchers in auto voucher. There we go. I'm actually trade all gold for vouchers whenever you have leave automated path. Warning: This can cause Buzz to convoys full. Okay, interesting. Okay, on. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But I just, I just want to build shit. Is it learn item menu for something? Yeah, it's that little fish, I think. So let me build something, please. Um, let me try building the armory. See if it lets me. Nope, don't have the gold. Yeah, I just have the vouchers, but it's annoying because hold up. I can't check my inventory for the vouchers that I have. So I have to like manually go through all the different vouchers to turn them into gold. Like this. And then like over and over. So that this one. Don't have that. Okay, this one. Yes. And then Turn gold into vouchers. Like, I'm not sure what the point of the voucher system is exactly and why it's so exact. I guess you to make sure you can exactly convert as much gold as you want. But it seems like it could have been done in a different way. That's not as tedious. Anyway, uh, vouchers. This one. Don't have that. Okay, I don't think I have any of the higher, more expensive ones. Yeah, and the point is that they don't go away between runs. But... Why not just let me set apart a sum of gold somewhere instead of this voucher system? Anyway, fishing. The important stuff first, fishing. I'm gonna buy more uh, more lures. I think I have the gold for more lures. I didn't have the gold for an armory. Buy lures. Let's get super lure and get further away from the from our ability to uh, build the armory, but that's fine. Super lure! To the play! Again. I have the best fish. Tiny to the play. Imagine if you unlock flame through fishing. You have to actually use the lures from your inventory to do anything though. Well, I haven't been, I haven't never used it. Tiny to the play! Wait, so I have to turn off free movements? Huh. Oh, wait, the lures... Oh, the super lures just got more. Okay. I'm assuming I could just send this to the supply and still sell it. What's the plot of this mod? I'm, say, I'm doing something for Grandma. I got revived. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Don't question it. Let me sell my fish. Yes. Sold! Sell all. Yes. Sold! Okay, how much gold do I have now? Wait, the fish heal you? Wait, what? Plus one to food, food counter? Uh, can you, maybe you can bring fish into the labyrinth as healing items? I don't know. Anyway, let's build the armory. Uh, build... Armory. Each with a binding seal that retains the weapon between runs. Huh. So I can keep my uh, little fluxes. Oh yeah, I guess I can check that by buying lures. So I can use the fish in, in the thing? Interesting. Oh, Lena's here. Hello. Why are you here? Wow, that was easy? <laughs> that was easy? <laughs> Hello, Lena. Uh, the armory's down here. You should do a Lena run then. 
Sorry, Gillian, we already have... What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. Oh my god! It's busted. Ah, so we can keep these forever, instead of having to buy stuff, I guess. Interesting. They're, only, they're not that strong, but they are really expensive. Ah. Interesting. <laughs> no weapon XP trash. Kind of, honestly. But we can use death weapons for weapon XP. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Societally not busted, it's infinite uses. Truth. Okay, I think... I think I'll do... Do I do one more try? I, do, I gotta try it Lilina, right? Uh, anyway, what did I want to do? I should probably turn my gold into vouchers. Why is everything so far away from each other? That's what I want to know. Like, it's cool that it's so wide, but if you're not going to give, give me fast travel, then this is just... Why is it so far away from each other? Anyway, um, auto voucher? Trade all gold for vouchers whenever you leave. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Yes. Cool. And then we should use Lena. I don't know if there's like... I don't know what's with the passwords. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because I can go here and like... Check the unlock passwords. But... I can always just pick the units I have unlocked, right? I guess this lets you do it... Hmm. Ooh, Pragmatic? Damn, she just has that? Gaming. Dorothy is in! Oh my god, I gotta tell Modi about this. Maybe they're for new runs, yeah. Maybe that's it. That would make sense. That's what passwords are usually for. Alright, let's do the Lina real quick. Don't tell Modi? Okay. Okay, I won't. I'll totally tell him though. Yeah, I did auto-convert, so we'll see if it works or not. Yeah, I guess you can make a new belly class. That makes sense. There's not much else. There's not much other progress, right? Because, you know, roguelite. Alright, so Lelina. She uh, she has a magic growth, that's for sure. She just comes with pragmatic? Damn. So she can just hit someone and they'll just have. Uh, damn, that's so cool. She's so good. She probably gets weighed down by the fire, though. That's okay. Is she, like, different from Sophia in any way besides just being better? I guess Sophia has more base magic. Whereas Lelina has better. Skill. <laughs> she has a better skill. Let's get it, Lena. Her stats seem a little bit worse, but I guess the, the, the skill is worth. Is she, like, does she start with the fire charm or not? She does, right? Yes, yeah, she does. So I don't have to buy that necessarily. I've never broken a weapon in this before. Uh, let's stick it on Antidoxin this time and a Vulnerary and Thunder. I mean, it's 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 a thing you can use. Thunder, Vuln. I guess not Antitoxin, but if we get to the, if we get to the point where you get poisoned, we're already pretty far in. So if he has more death, probably. Yeah, Lina's better at growth, I guess. Okay, so chest either way. Don't want to fight a wyvern, probably. Probably want to fight the mage. So just hard left. I mean, we could fight this guy, I suppose. He's not that strong. I see a lot of churches on our route, so we can get a plus one magic from the churches. I think going hard left is the is the way here. Seventeen fifty. That's good. Run counter up. You're right. All right. So which chest we get doesn't matter map wise. I don't believe. I guess we can get a chest instead and go go to the church instead of doing the mage. But come on, we want to fight with Lena, right? Like, come on. Come on. 1750. I wonder how long this is. It seems really long. Alright, mage. You and me. Come fight me. I know this map. I've been in this place before. Alright, Lena probably has a custom animation, animation too. At this point, my expectations for the custom animations are very high. There's a couple, like, I think free to use animations for Lena, I want to say. Oh wow, we, we wrecked this guy. Oh my god, it's so cute! That's so good! It's like Kid Lena from, like, the Heroes banner. Except better. And, like, obviously it's normal Lena, but that's what it reminded me of. 
Look at how cute she is. Also, look at how good Pragmatic is right now. She's so small. <laughs> Except you're gonna play this with Sophia. Her waifu powers that she hits people and then they're like, oh my god, I wish that were me. And they deal less damage to her. One character per run? Yes. You can't switch, as far as I can tell. Maybe there's gonna be a mechanic where you can't switch. Alright, go to church. Let's get uh, magic, right? Max HP is like interesting for mages because they might avoid a one shot. But I don't get one point of magic. And an armor and two mini bosses had to choose were either Ephraim or Sophia, so I just got one shot by Rich and Leaf. <laughs> okay, so we probably don't want the shaman because I don't have the res of Sophia. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just seven, vi seven res vibing. So chest, chest, archer. Don't see no mini bosses. This is church at the end though. Soldier's probably free though. Chests. I haven't fought an archer yet, I feel like. I kinda wanna see what the archer map is like. Let's look at this chest while we think. On it, 250, okay. Chest archer? Archer's probably not free, but kinda free because we can hit him in the face before he gets to hit us. And we activate. Oh, let's go! Worth it. Worth it. We have a skill scroll chat. We have a skill scroll. Tome range, pl tome range plus one? Tome range plus one? We know it's in there. We know it's in there. Alright, Archer. Let's get it. Let's use that thing. Sword fair time, I know, right? Okay, so... If we go, like, here... We can probably make something happen. I kind of want the bush. But I don't think I need the bush, so fuck it. We're just gonna go here for now. Skill scroll. Learned HP plus. So is this HP plus five or something? Provoke. <laughs> Come on, provoke. HP plus. Is it lifesteal? Perfectionist. Plus 15 hit avoid when it uses HP as a maximum. Wow, that's kind of good. Because right now we have that activated. We're going to have to like every battle at the beginning. And we get two shot by everything anyway. So that seems kind of good. Bush gaming. I don't think we can bush gaming. I don't know if there was a way to like bush gaming this guy. Unless we like were running to enemy phase him right away. I think we just do this. Can't wait to level up HP and lose your skill. Well, when we used a robe earlier, we gained current HP as well as max HP. So I think that's the same for HP level ups. But, like the hit especially is so nice. I'm just not going to miss anywhere ever. I, I mean, I'm jinxing myself by saying that, but you know what? I mean. That's a good skill. This is maybe not the run, but it sure is a run. Okay, we beat Archer, dude. That map seems like okay, but it seems to guarantee you're gonna fight that Archer. You wanna see the Brigham map as well? It doesn't matter with regards to where we can go next. We don't really want an armory, I think, at this point. Although it would be cool to like see more animatons. Oh, well, we can't get the armor. We were forced to choose here. No matter what, we're fighting something. I guess I just want to see the Brigham map. And then go to church, I guess. Yeah, we're kind of forced into this. It's not like HP level ups are, are happening. True. Oh, right, we have seen this. It was the, the Gonzalez Sofia map, I guess. Uh, Bush gaming is definitely a thing here. Can we double him or something? Let's just get closer and see the forecast before we decide. I did buy a Thunder Tome, yes. I should probably put it in my inventory. So let's see what the combat looks like, and we'll decide on bush gaming or not. Uh, so we can hit him first, and he'll do less damage to us. To the point where we can vault it off. Or we can go into bush gaming, and reduce his hit to 32. I think I like bush gaming. Bush gaming has never filled me. Um, I guess if he hits me, don't want to... Nah, I don't want to vault fuck it. No vaulting, we keep that vault. Uh, I do want my Thunder Tome. Can't use it yet. <laughs> Bush it up. Just dodge. Easy. The skill scrolls are honestly the most exciting part of this. Because they, they really change how your unit works. Or rather how they do in battle. How you move. I think Bush game literally just fails. Yeah, but they have to, it, it's gonna make up make it up to us now. Level up oh. First of many. 
Oh, that's so good. HP levels are definitely not happening, though. We're at full HP or we're dead. That's pretty much going to be the lead now here. It's okay. I, don't, I mean, you retain your current HP between battles, so I guess it would be really rough to level up HP and just lose the skill forever. I wonder if they thought of that, the, the developers, I mean. Anyway, there's no way to go village over church, right? We just get the magic. I think? I don't know if we need the magic. We do a lot of damage already. Do we get plus one HP? Wait, I wonder... Will this rob us of our ability if we get this? It will, right? Let's see if his resolution is just a better plus one HP for you. True. Do it for science? Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, I don't want it. I want HP. I don't want to get magic. Fuck it. You're never getting out of one shot range? I mean, I'm not getting one shot right now. Alright, mini bosses. Alright, so let's see a bunch of brigands. Let's see a dart. That guy's gonna one shot us for sure. Is that Axe Fair I see? Triple strength. Oh, skill. Okay, it's Colossus. Alright, cool. That's a skill. That you can fight. The Pegasus Knight is not much better, probably. Dart is probably gonna be on his own. I think we do two shot him with uh, the skill and everything. We're probably gonna get D tomes at some point. No, not here. Not here. Uh, so we have 14 attack. So that's 14 damage, but then we get Pragmatic afterwards, which is plus 3 damage, right? Right? Yeah, so between, with Pragmatic implemented, we do 2-shot Dart, so we could try go for him. Unlock him, if you will. Which would be... Not the super hazardous route. We have to go through Villages 1 and 2 and 3, or fight a Brigand first. Um... Uh... Isn't the Thali hit from Dart just a normal hit from Dart? Yes, probably. Uh, I'm thinking if there's like any reason to take an alternative route for content or not. I could go here, get a church, fight a brigand, go in an armory, and then another armory. None of that seems as exciting as Dart. Let's go fight Dart. Let's go fight Dart. And I think we'll go through the village to get a random item. I think we get a bunch of random items here. Fire! Yay! Totally warranted. You have to make up for, the, for dying to Gonzo, yes. I think Dart will not have um, bush gaming, unfortunately. Uh, this is strength. Yo, do you get a fodder unit? Let's get a fodder unit. Yay, a cab. A fodder unit might save us against Dart. He can activate Pragmatic for us. He's a sword. It'll be glorious. Let's... Wait, do I have to do this now? I forgot. How did the recruit work again? Did I do it during battle? I think I did it right before the battle, right? So, like, if I go here... I don't know what the hallway with the arena is for. I have no idea. There's, like, a random fort here. It seems like space filler. I don't know. But I believe the way the recruit works is when I fight Dart, it'll be like, hey, do you want to bring a guy with you? I think. I'm gonna go get another random item. Get item. Free. Arnax. Yay! <laughs> this is useless. Alright, dark gaming time. It's okay, I don't, I don't even need the, the recruit, but I'm gonna use him anyway. Uh, interacts. It's gonna work. Reinforcements, yes. Okay, there we go, there we go. Cavalier Paladin. He's going in. Uh, did you equip your sword, friend? Do you have a sword? He did equip a sword. What a champion. Okay. So the... Dart will not have a choice to attack the Cavalier if I don't give him a choice. Let's go here. Go Cav. Go Cav. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, no. Dart. How dare you. <laughs> you menace. You menace. Alright, we need to push. We need to push to pull through for us. What do you have, dude? That poor guy. That poor Cav. He ate shit. Well, time to dodge, I guess. <laughs> Dart smash. Calf was not in a bush. Alright. Okay, Pragmatic lets us 